Oh man, what a way to start a beautiful program. Molo, Saubona, Namaste, Khuyamora, good morning, and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to one and all. If you need help with your grade 12 uh, maths, then this is the right place. Um, this OCAF essay maths workshop is here to assist learners that is struggling with maths and need a little. Uh, assistance in the preparation for the uh, uh, for the June examination. This session is hosted by OCAF South Africa in association with the Department of Basic Education, uh, the the um, Kway Institute, uh, iSkill, as well as uh, the Alfala College. We are coming to you live from the Alfala College in uh, KwaZulu Natal. So let us know in the comments for our online viewers where you are connecting to us from. Let us know the school as well as the province. Let us know your feeling. Um, I'm sure very excited um, um, to be part of this program. My name is Hassanain Abdullah and I'm the project coordinator for OCAF South Africa. Please do us a favor. Do give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channels. We will be having more sessions during the course of the year to prepare you for your final examination. A very strategic partner to this uh, project has been the Department of Basic Education. We will now hear a, a message from Mr. Leonard Ndau, and he is from the Department of Basic Education. Good morning. My name is uh, Leonard Guman Mdao from the National Department of Basic Education. Lenas, I'm here representing the department. Um, we'll be revising with you what you have done from January until June in preparation for you to write the June exam. You know you're going to write full paper, paper one with paper two on content that you were taught on. Today is Saturday. Uh, the 27th of May. Tomorrow is Sunday. So we'll be with you from nine o'clock today on Saturday uh, until we finish off with paper one content that you have done in uh, grade 10. And then tomorrow we'll be beginning our task early in the morning again uh, at nine o'clock. Uh, be with us. Uh, we'll be using different methods to solve problems that you know. Uh, as mathematicians, you are required to know different methods. Uh, it can be how to factorize. We always encourage our learners uh, to know uh, different types 
on how to factorize an expression or equation uh, will assist you. You know that your teachers have done a lot, have taught you how to do them, and we are here uh, to beef up, to revise with you, to show you other methods. Uh, we are going to use different methods uh, to do to solve all those problems. Free, free to ask questions will be with you. Your teachers are also with us, listening, participating. Uh, they will also raise uh, their hands, com make comments. Feel free uh, today and tomorrow will be with you. Uh, I wish you well. Know that this year is dedicated as the year of mathematics. For the previous two weeks, last week we were with grade 12, the other week we were with grade 11 groups. So now is your chance. Uh, we are beginning to start from grade 10 to make sure that we lay a strong foundation so that you don't have the hiccups in grade 11 and also in grade 12. Uh, I wish you well. Uh, we'll be participating be participants as well. Uh, don't be shy. If you don't know, you don't understand how we are doing it, raise up your hands. We'll answer you and make sure that you gain, you learn a lot, and you become better mathematicians. Keep it up. Thank you. So that was Mr. Leonard from the Department of Basic Education. They've been very ins instrumental in mobilizing schools across South Africa for our program. So welcome to the grade 12 OCAF SA Maths Workshop. We have hosted workshops for grade 11 as well as grade 12. And today we'll be focusing on Maths Paper 1. That will be algebra from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. So we are, uh, I'm beaming from um, um, OCAF SA's studio here in Cape Town, but we do have a cohort of about 400 learners. They are excited, they're ready to go, and they are based at the Al Falah College. And the Al Falah College has been very instrumental in mobilizing this program. So now we're going to sp be speaking to Al Falah's, uh, Al Falah College's uh, uh, principal, Mr. Zafir Ahmed. Let's bring him on. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It gives me great pleasure to extend a very warm welcome to you, uh, to Alphala College and also to the streaming. I must also acknowledge the uh, attendance of the many teachers that are here in the hall with us, as well as uh, Mr. Deniso Temba, the subject advisor for mathematics for the Humlazi district. We are very privileged that he's able to also join us here this morning. Uh, boys and girls, uh, this is a joint effort, as you heard, between OCA South Africa, Kiwi Mathematics, and Alphala College in preparation for the Grade 10 Mathematics June examinations. OCA South Africa and Alphala College for many years have been having maths intervention programs for Grade 12 learners. And we found that uh, while those are impactful, it's our firm belief that if we start with these type of interventions earlier, we can better prepare you for the matric exam. So this is not a one-shot. We're hoping to see you now in June. We hope to invite you again in November to prepare you for your November exams. And next year when you are in grade 11, we'll see you in June and November, and we will support you again when you are in your matric year in three years' time, hopefully. And I hope that you will take full advantage of this opportunity to engage fully, ask questions if you don't understand, and also uh, see you here tomorrow. And hopefully when we extend the invitations to you in November and next year, that you will fully participate and benefit from this program. This program will also be on YouTube. So if you've missed something or didn't quite get it and you wish to view it again, you can go to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the whole car channel and you'll see lots of other maths videos and the recording of the next two days will be on there as well. So I wish you well and I trust you will find these two days very meaningful, rewarding and trust you every success in your upcoming June examinations and indeed for the rest of your schooling career. Thank you very much. I trust you will be having a fruitful 
and enjoyable two days of independence. Thank you very much. So there we go. That was uh, Mr. Zafir Ahmed from al -Fala College. And he's been very instrumental in hosting some of OCAF's previous uh, maths workshops. OCAF has been conducting these workshops since 2016. It is an intervention to assist some of our um, learners that have been struggling with mathematics. And some of this assistance has been um, quite well received um, since our program that we've been hosting over over the few years so enough of the formalities i'm now going to introduce to you mr kota he's the driving force behind kway maths and kway uh, the kway institute um is uh, the implementing agent that has been conducting these uh, fantastic uh, maths upgrade workshops over the years so mr kota uh, with his high energy he's going to be taking you through grade 10 maths paper one so we're going to be introducing him, um, but also we want to have some participation from yourself. Please don't be shy. Uh, let us know where you are connecting to us from. We'll flight it on the screen. Um, show us some love. Do like this uh, video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So as customary, uh, we normally play um, the launch uh, sequence video. So we're going to do this to queue in Mr. Kota. So, Mr. Kota, stand by. We're now going to be giving you your launch sequence. Are ready for the launch, Mr. Kauta? Asalaamu you, you never cease to amaze me as a name. There we go. Hi, Captain. You're in orbit and you've got your launch sequence. Take us away to high ground, Mr. Kauta. Ah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our learners. Welcome to Okaf. Welcome to Al Fala. All the learners from all the different schools participating. We've got about 400 learners live and we are beaming nationally to over 20,000 learners across South Africa. So guys, we're in for a bumper session today. And obviously many of you haven't seen me before or seen us or engaged with us before. So there's gonna be some interaction. We need to get to know each other. We're gonna be family for the next two days. And uh, in fact, by the time we leave tomorrow, some of you are going to be tearing and crying and then we're going to need tissues to wipe your tears and you want to go on social media and then you're going to say, Mr. K, we love you. Okay, enough of all of that. Welcome, 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 everybody. Jazakallah. Mr. Kota, I've got, a, I've got a request from you yes. and your audience. Yes. I want to know how awesome they are, how energetic they are, how, they fast what's the like energy fast. level like, you know? What's the energy level like? So let's see. I, I, I think I know where you're going with this. I think you want yes. the wave, right? You know, there's a tradition with our maths workshop that yeah. somehow at some point we have uh, a Mexican wave. We just want to see what the energy is like, what the chaos is like. I want Whoa. you to be our learners and I want the most amazing, fantastic Mexican wave. And you at home also, you can also join us in that. So Mr. Kota, we're going to wait on you and you're going to give your cohort of learners that three, two, one countdown. And I want to see... Guys, do you know how to do a Mexican wave? All right, put your books down. Get ready for the best Mexican wave the country or the world has ever seen. We're going to start here. We're going to start with this group here on my left. That is your right. On my left. And you guys are going to stand up from here and everybody's going to stand up, lift their hands and then you sit down. We're going to do the wave. It's going to go through the back. It's going to come here. Then you're going to stand up again and it's going to come all the way back here to the front. Are you guys ready? 
Do you know? Must I teach you how to do a wave? No. All right. All you have to do, you stand the first row here, and everybody will go up like this, and then you sit down and let the wave continue till the girls here in the front. And girls, don't be shy. You are going international. You are going international. <laughs> right. And then you guys, the second round, it won't end by you. Then you'll start the wave again, and it will come all the way and end up here. Are you guys ready? Can, can we do the Three. long sequence? Three, two, 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 one, go. go! There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Woo! Start it again, start it again. There we go. There we go, here 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 we go. Yeah. Right, take it away, Mr. K. Amazing stuff, amazing stuff, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. As the name, I think, uh, can I start taking the show away, bro? Yes, hey, bro. do that, but first, what is required? Yes, okay, guys. Uh, obviously, today, you need your scientific calculators. You need your writing pad, which I see you all have. You need your pen, rulers, writing instruments. And obviously, I hope you guys have some hydration. Water, sandwiches, fruit, snacks. If you need to sip while we work, no problem. You need to drink your coffee while we work, no problem. As long as you don't mess up the place and you clean up the place before you leave, you can eat, suck on a lollipop, whatever you need. As long as we know by the end of... As long as you know that you are completely focused. Here's the program. Here's the program. Okay. After all the formalities, we're going to push till about 10.30 a.m. with algebra. Then we're going, we'll take a 30-minute break. Today is the first day, so we started 20 minutes with all the formalities. So we might go about 5 or 10 minutes over. We'll then come back, we'll do functions, all your different types of functions. Straight line, parabola, hyperbola, exponential, how to analyze the graphs. Then we'll go for a lunch break from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. And then we'll do a topic called transformation, reflection, rotation, enlargement, reduction, and translation. And that's our program for today. Paper 2 is tomorrow, guys. Paper 2, analytics. Have you guys started with tricks at school? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to be doing the whole of tricks tomorrow. We're doing analytics tomorrow and we're doing the whole of geometry, Euclidean geometry. So guys, we're in for a bumper weekend. And uh, yeah, hit us up in the comments, South Africa, wherever you're coming from. Let us know exactly um, where you're tuning in, where you're logging in from. Gracia, you are live. Lesedi, you are live. And uh, yeah, uh, tell all your friends to log into OCAF, to log into our channel today. Like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get fired off from Limpopo. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Asamein, are we ready to rock, to rumble? You've got the platform. Take it away, Mr. K. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Molo. Saubona. Kunjani. Salamu alaikum. Foyamur. Awe. South African world. Guys. Let me introduce myself to you because you are grade 10s, the grade 12s and grade 11s have been introduced to us before. So what I'm going to do quickly before we get cracking is just introduce myself, set some ground rules so that we get familiar with one another. Now, this is a live program. You guys are still what you say in our South African language, Bantuan. Right. You guys are still our kiddos. Remember, you still need to get, uh, in terms of mathematics and FET, you still got grade 11 and 12. So you are our babies. So we need to look after you so that within the next two years, hopefully, you're not going to drop to diet maths. You know maths light. You know diet maths. Maths on diet. Maths zero. We need you to stick on FET math and we want you to get the best possible results from now till the end of grade 12. So if you listen to us, you pay attention to us, you follow our program, you watch the program on the YouTube channel over and over and over, even after this weekend, let it sink in. 
let it process, practice, and obviously get your distinction in mathematics. So guys, I'm Mr. K from the K-Way Institute, presenting here for OCAF South Africa at the Alphala College here in the beautiful city of Durban. Right, we are here, let's get cracking. Guys, let's start with products. You know what you need to do in algebra. So the first thing you need to know, guys, algebra is the machine. Algebra is the engine of mathematics. So all our online learners, I know you might think I talk a little bit fast. Obviously, we've got, two, we've got the whole six months work to cover in two days. So you need to log on, you need to pay attention, and you need to follow us item for item step by step let's keep the energy up keep hydrated and let's get cracking what do we need to know in algebra your paper one what do you need to know in algebra let's hear the first thing you need to know is products make a note of that products do we all know what a product is no your go back to grade four <laughs> A product is the answer of a multiplication problem. Then the next one, which uh, is your Moses, factorization. Then we need to know how to add or subtract fractions, algebraic fractions. Take this down, take this down. Then we need to know how to multiply or divide fractions. Then our good friend, Mr. Exponents. Then we go into our equations where we need to solve. Exponents where we need to simplify. You're going to be tested on all of this in your exams, June and final and all your math paper one tests. Then we need to know exponential equations. Where your equations and your exponents are in your powers. Then we need to know simultaneous equations. So this is our checklist. We're going to be doing all of this. So get ready. You've been introduced to this in grade 9 already. You are now in grade 10. It's the same topics. And guys, it's the same topics till grade 12. So if you master it now, by the time you get to grade 12, you'll be like our friend Rory Sang last year, who got 100% in mathematics. Asanayna, are we there, bro? Yes, we are. Have you got the clip on Rory Sang for all our yes, learners? We're going to play that during the break time for them for some excellent, inspiration. Excellent, excellent. Rory Sang got 100%. And our most improved learner last year after our workshops, what was she? From 35% to 82%. So come on, guys. If they could do it, you can. Now, I know many of you were battling, so it's very important. Remember, our, our strategy is very different with great tens. The reason being, your grade nines, many of you, you just managed to pass. And some of you, your primary schools just wanted to get rid of you, so they put you into high school by now. Some of you did well yet last year. Some of you have got no clue what you did last year. Some of you are still wondering, you are still in shock. You are in shock that you are in grade 10. You can't believe it. For some of you, that's the highest achievement you've ever achieved. And you say, yay! But hello. It's going to be short-lived. Let me warn you. Let me warn you that your excitement and your enthusiasm for your schools boosting you from grade 9 to grade 10, your lucky streak, your lucky spell, 
comes to an end this year because this is the time where you say you meet your Moses in mathematics. Guys, if your foundation, and listen to me clearly, if this foundation is not rock solid, this is your engine of mathematics. If your algebra is not on point, you will fail and you will fail beautifully. <laughs> Nicely. There won't be a bigger failure than you. If you do not master this, you can have a Ferrari, you can have a Lamborghini, but if your engine is broken, the car is going nowhere. This is your car. This is the engine of your car. Mathematics is your car. This is your wheels. This is your engine. This is your fuel. Fix your algebra. Everything will come right from now. Hear me and hear me clearly. When we have to fix a learner who's battling in mathematics, the first place you start is the engine. And boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, teachers who are watching, if you want to do intervention with your learners, this is where you begin. Fix this. After this, it's only formula, applying the formula, and then unpacking it using these rules of algebra. So you want to become a master in mathematics. You want to become a rocket scientist. You want to get 100%. The effigy girl from al -Fala last year, top learner in the, in the country. As a result of all of this put together, the school's effort, the teacher's effort, her tutor's effort, Okaf and Kway's effort, all these efforts put together made her the number one, not only in the school, not only in the district, not only in the province, in South Africa. You all have the potential of doing it, even if you are below 20%. Relax. But this is the time to grind. Let's get started. Let's Preach. start now. Preach, Mr. Kota, preach. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, I'm clearing the frame. Let's start with the first topic, products. Let's start with the first topic, products, and it will say simplify. Now, remember, when the question says simplify, it means what it says. Bring it to its simplest form. Our learners have got a tendency to complicate matters. You'll never see a question in the exam for five marks saying complicate for five marks, will you? Never. What does the question say? Simplify. That is the purpose of mathematics. The purpose of mathematics is to simplify your life, not to complicate your life. But some of you, when you see a simple situation, your mind is wired the other way, upside down, and you decide to complicate the matter. You complicate it so bad that not, only, not even you understand what you wrote. So take a step back, take a deep breath, South Africa, let's get started. First question, or the first type, the first law is our law of distribution. So put it there, distributive law. The second law. So this is one term distribution. One term times many terms. So you take the one and you multiply it all out. You've been taught this in grade eight. Don't tell me, sir, you're moving too fast. How can I be moving fast? <laughs> I just started. So when you have one term times many terms, we distribute. Number two. When you have two terms, multiply by another two terms. What do we use? Let's hear. Foil. Ever heard of foil? First, outer, inner, last. So we take the first term times both. We take the second term times both and we collect our like terms. Yes or no? Right. Now remember, these are just the laws. We're going to go from basic to advanced. I'll show you where the difference is between grade 9 and grade 10. Grade 10 includes fractions. Grade 10 includes fractions. 
It's the same like grade nine. It's the same like grade nine. Only thing in grade 10, we have fractions involved. So we need to know how to dala with the fraction. Right. So we got foil. And this is called, in mathematics, this is called a monomial. Mono meaning one. Monomial. And many terms is called a polynomial. Poly meaning many. Mono meaning one. This is called a binomial. Bi meaning two. Bicycle, two wheels. Two terms times two terms. Binomial times a binomial. Now we're going to have squaring a binomial. I'm going to show you a shortcut. Squaring a binomial. You must be able to tell yourself this in the exam. The minute you see a question, you must tell yourself, okay, monomial times polynomial, binomial times binomial, squaring a binomial where you've got two terms squared. Then we've got a binomial times a trinomial. Bi meaning two. So we've got two terms. And we're multiplying it by a trinomial. Tri meaning what? Obviously, duh. <laughs> trinomial meaning three. So we take the first times all, second times all, and we collect our like term. So that is the system of products. Asanain, how's our onlineers doing? Dala with the fractions, Prince. White Wolf streaming from Limpopo. Guys, take this thing down. Streaming from Dubai. Amina! <laughs> Hello, Amina. That's my sister-in-law. <laughs> Hello, Ami. Right, well done. We got, we got people coming in from Dubai, from UK, from Australia, Malaysia, all over the world, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, so we've got that. Now you're saying, all right, Mr. Tota, shut your mouth and let's start. <laughs> you talk too much Bruh, I get paid to talk that's my job right so we got products are you ready I I can't hear you man come on are you ready I'm ready ah, like that's Eddie the spirit. that's the spirit you took all this down don't stress it is being recorded it is being recorded so you can catch it on I think it will be up by tonight or by tomorrow already on YouTube. If I'm not mistaken, that's the name. I think it's live already on YouTube on Okaf. It's real time, real time. ladies and gentlemen. It's so if you miss out on everything, Okaf South Africa YouTube channel. You need to subscribe to that so you won't miss a thing. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Simplify. Now, guys, pay attention. I'll start with the easy one. Then I throw you into the deep end with an exam type one. It's as if we are writing our June exams together. Ubuntu. Right, let's go. Simplify. Let's start off with the easy one. I tell you 2x squared into 6xy minus 4y squared plus 5x squared y3. That's your question in your answer. Now, guys, I am, you'll get to know me. You'll get to know me. You just met me today for the first time. I'm not doing rough calculation. Exactly the way I answer it on the screen is exactly the way you can answer it in your exam. Copy and paste so you learn the pattern. Let's do it together. Don't do it. This is an easy one. This is an easy one. Right. So hear me out. Hear me out. So we're taking the term outside distribution. We take the term outside and we multiply it by all. So this is equal to. You start like in English, how you read from left to right. You start with the sign. Then you do the coefficient. Then you do the base. 
Now remember something. If I told you minus 2x squared, what is minus 2 known as? The coefficient. You must learn that. So when I say coefficient, it includes the sign. Coefficient. X is known as my base. And 2 is known as the power or the exponent or the index or the indice. It's all meaning the same words. They are synonyms. They mean the same thing. Now, I want you to pay attention and pay attention carefully. Watch here. Before we start with that, this is a house. There's a house that Minus 2 is the garden. And the power is the chimney. So watch here. Minus 2 is the garden. It's the coefficient. X is my base, the house. 2 is my power, the chimney. The chimney belongs to the house, not to the garden. Are you listening carefully? That 2, that 2 on the top, that two on the top or three belongs to the house. It belongs to the base. Does not belong to the garden. The garden is attached to the house. But the chimney belongs to the house. But the minute I put a wall around it and I say minus two X. And I say squared. Now the chimney belongs to the house and the garden. Are you listening? Right. So let's go. I just think you need to know the difference. Remember when I talk coefficient, I talk about the garden. And by now you should know a negative times a negative is a. So positive like signs when multiplied or divided is positive. Unlike signs is negative. Right. Let's go. Let's dial up. I just thought I need to show you this. So let's go. Let's go. All right, we start with the sign first. Let's go. All right, let's go. Positive times a positive is a positive. 2 times 6 is x2 times x1. When we multiply and the bases are the same, what do I do to the powers? Add 2. So that's x. 2 plus 1 is how much? And then we put a y. When we multiply, it's super glue. It sticks. When we multiply, it sticks. Right. Now let's go. So we're done with the first. Positive times a negative is what? 2 times 4 is what? X squared times Y squared. We stick it together. X squared, Y squared. Positive times positive is a? 2 times 5 is? x2 times x2. Hey, you're so clever. y3. Boom. Your final answer. They are unlike the terms. Can I add or subtract? No. Is that my final answer? Yes. Take that down. That's example number one. That's example number one. We've got a brilliant cohort of learners here. They are all answering with us. They are engaging with us. And I hope you online in South Africa and all over the world are following the program with us. Ha! Now we go to a... This is great. This is baby stuff. Pantuana stuff. <laughs> Alright, now you want the big guns. Ish! Now listen. Mamela. In South Africa we say Mamela. Listen. Open up your ears. Shh. Watch here. When you're multiplying two fractions, and this is something I need to teach you from now till grade 12. So if I told you, watch here. If I told you 2 over 3 multiplied by 5. How do we multiply fractions, guys? We make that over 1, yes or no? Then what do we say? When we multiply fractions, we say numerator times numerator denominator times denominator. Yes or no? Yes. That times that, that times that. So 2 times 5 is how much? 
Three times one is how much? Can I simplify that? No. That's where I leave it. Am I right? Very good. Very good. You've understood what I just told you. Good. You know why? We're going to use the same system in a higher order question. Now watch. Let's change this. Let's change the next question. Here comes a great 10 question. Watch here. 2 over 3x squared into 6x3y squared minus 4xy4 plus 9. Right. Look at the difference now. Why is this a grade 10 question? Why is this a grade 10 question? Because you got fractions, isn't it? Ah, so now if you don't know how to do this, let's do it together. Answer. This is equal to 2 over 3x squared. What are we going to do to all of this? Make it over 1. That's the first thing you're going to do. Are you all with me? Don't write. Don't write. Writing is the last part of understanding. First, watch how I unpack it. And let's do it. Your mind needs to process what we are doing together. We are one family. I'm not a teacher. I'm your friend. I'm here to help you. I'm here to show you how I, from failing mathematics in grade 12, June exam, I failed math. I had to teach myself all these systems. At the end of the year in grade 12, I finished a three-hour paper in one and a half hours. I got A+. Plus. They, they, in those years, they just gave me A+. Plus. I know I got 100%. 100% from failing. And how did I do it? The same way I'm teaching you now. So let's do it together. Watch. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So 2 times 6. 3 times 1 x2 times x3 y squared done with the first one next one positive times negative 2 times 4 3 times 1 x squared times x1 x2 times x1 x3 y4 positive times positive 2 times 9 over 3 times 1. x squared times 1. There's nothing there. x squared. Don't forget the x squared at the end. And that is only step number 1. Why? Because it's not in its simplest form. Because you can still simplify further. Am I right? If you, get, if you left it here, you'll lose half the marks. So let's now simplify one step further. 2 over 3 x squared into what is oh, this is not 2 over 3, we multiplied it all out. We multiplied it all out so there's no brackets here anymore. Hey, hey, nobody picked that one up. You left me to do it for myself. I was just testing if you were paying attention. Ah. Uh, I know the teachers are screaming, he's lying, that guy is lying. Right, let's go, let's go. So we multiply that times that. Why do we multiply out to remove the brackets, right? Right, let's simplify. What is 12 divided? Remember, that means divide. 12 divided by 3, kibukai. X5, Y squared, minus... 8 over 3, can we simplify? No. X3, Y4, plus, what is 18 divided by 3? X squared. There we go. Final answer, we can't add, we can't subtract. They are unlike terms. Yes or no? Well done. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Now I'm going to give you what to do on your own. You ready? They say they're ready. They say they're ready.
Let's see how's our online is doing. How's our online is doing? Matt is so cool, streaming from Limpopo, liking this guy. Hello, Simpi. Where? Hello, Drifty. World Dre from Northwest. We're here to dala match. We're here to make it fun. We're here to make you enjoy, to make you see what you are doing. So those That's of you who took this one down, dala the last one on your own. Minus That's three over four. A squared B into five. A three B squared plus six A B minus Four A B Q over five. Aha. Now, if you can do that last one, this is a great ten one. That's a great ten problem. Talk to me as a name. Question. Yeah, boy. Let's go and check. Where? Me, I'm wondering why there was brackets, but I never say nux. <laughs> Guillotine 786. I was testing you, Baba. I was testing you. Question. Sometimes I'm going to make some deliberate mistakes. Paper 2 tomorrow, Shadane Fanzay. Paper, paper 1 today. Paper 2 tomorrow. White Wolf. I'm so smart. Hey, what? Oh. You mean it's too early. It's too early. Too soon, bruh. Too soon. <laughs> Come, guys. Tell us this last one. Show me your boss. Get this one right. It's worth four marks in your exam. Do what I taught you to answer the last one. You get the last one right. I want to see all of you getting it right. And a problem like this must be done in under 60 seconds. If you're taking longer than 60 seconds, FYI, for your information, you will fail. And how will you fail? Nicely. So, Mr. Kota, our viewership is rising and rising and rising. Ah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Must I read the question? Right. Simplify minus 3 over 4 a squared b into 5 a cubed b squared plus 6 a b minus 4 over 5 a b cubed. For 4 marks, simplify. For 4 marks, simplify. We are not factorizing, we are simplifying. Guys, we might even go over break. After break, we come back. We'll continue with more algebra until your algebra is sorted. Then functions. Don't worry. I won't leave you in the deep end. I'm here. Me and Asanay, we got you. When you write your final paper, you must have fun. You must just picture me and Asanay talking to you, telling you and guiding you, telling you what to do. Write us a name. We must be those little money keys in their ears. Okay. Guys, within 10 minutes, load shedding will kick in. There might be a little bit of a glitch. The changeover from um, generated. Uh, we on load shedding at the moment. So from generator to normal. This is South Africa. We dollar what we must. This is called Amazon living. We're living in the jungle here, Baba. Don't load shit on us, eh? Don't load shit on uh, us. Stay with us. Shit. Right, so I hope you all did that. Right, let's do it. I know many of you are saying, let's dala. I'm sure you're done already. There's some smart girl sitting here in the front. You must see how their eyes are lighting up. They actually got X's and Y's in their eyes. Beautiful. Big eyes. And some of them are wearing glasses. It's even magnifying. Right, let's go. Let's go. Negative times positive is a negative. 3 times 5, 15. Remember, we are multiplying. 4 times 1, 4. I can't go slower than I am. I swear I cannot go slower than I'm going already. A2 times A3. 
A5. B1 times B2, B3. Right. How many of you got that first term right? Let me see your hands. Yay! Give yourself a nice round of applause. You got the first term right. Don't get too happy. You might not get the whole problem right. So keep quiet for now. You, they are a bit too excited here, bruh. Negative times positive is a negative. 3 times 6 is 18. Over 4 times 1 is 4. A squared times A1. A3. B1 times B1. B2. B squared. Negative times negative. 3 times 4. 4 times 5. A2 times A1. A beautiful. B1 times B3. A, I love this. You know what I like about these great tens? Yes, you got it right. Give yourself a round of applause. Well done, well done, well done. Mr. Suji, how are you? Mr. Suji, you know what I love about these great tens? Uh, they're so beautiful. They're so easy because they are like a fertile garden. And they're so interactive. It's different with a grade 11 and a grade 12. Grade 12 now, they're still checking, but they're engaging so well. They're picking up the system step by step. And I promise you, inshallah, inshallah means God willing. Inshallah, you guys will be our best cohort of grade 12s in two years' time. Say amin. amin. Say amin. amin. Good. Minus 15 over 4. A5, B3. I hope you didn't stop there. If you stop there, eh, eh, you are in problem, eh? You've got a problem. You know there's a road here called Problem Nkize. Yeah. They will call you Problem Nkize. Minus. We need to simplify that. Two goes into there nine times. Two goes into there. Two goes into four two times. A3, B2. You did that? Yeah. yeah. They are sharp. Plus. Plus. What's the highest number that will go into 12 and 20? Four. Four. How can three go into 20? Go back to grade one. Four goes into here three times. Four goes into there five times. A3, B4. A5, A3, B2. Unlike terms, is that my final answer? Yeah, boy, yes. Final answer. Don't follow my English, eh? Don't go write answer in English like that. You, you will fail nicely. You will have the problem in Kizen. There we go. Beautiful. So we're done with the first topic. Are you happy? Are you smiling? Show me that Colgate smile. Did you brush your teeth this morning? <laughs> Right. Yes, this is without the use of a calculator. Of course, guillotine. If you are using a calculator for this, you are in problem. This is without the use of a calculator. Right, let's go. You're done with this. This was the first type distribution. Pay attention. We're doing the second type. What was the second type from our checklist? Foil. Binomial times. This was monomial times polynomial. Yes or no? Now we are doing binomial times binomial. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I said, hey, now we're doing the... How's the Cape, bro? It is freezing here in Cape Town. We are drinking Urban coffee. It's beautiful. Beautiful. It's like a summer day here. This is beach weather here, bro. Send me some right, pumpkins. This is a grade 9 question. 2x minus 5. 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2. That's a grade 9 question. This is grade 9. We're going to go into grade 10 now, now. Right, put your pens down. Okay, South Africa. Okay, it's so nice. Where one person tells the whole country and the whole world, put your pens down and hold the pen. Nice, right? Right, your two first terms first, then your two outer terms, O, then your two inner terms, I, then your two last terms, L, FOIL. 
So it's the first times both, second times both. Let's do it together. 2x times 3x. Yeah. Positive times positive is a positive. 2x times 2. Minus 5 times 3x. Negative times positive is a negative. 5 times 2 is? Is that my final answer? Why? Light term. Hey, I tell you, these guys should, some of them are going to be sitting on this side here, delivering next year. They are too sharp. 6x squared. Hey, now if you don't know, 4 minus 15. These are like terms. Plus 4 minus 15 minus 11x minus 10. Final answer. Yebo, yes. Yebo, yes. Yebo, yes. Yebo, yes. Now, this is great. Nine. So don't get happy. You're not going to see this in the exam. <laughs> it's too easy. Ah, the fun is now going to start. Now the fun starts. Are you sweating? Is that sweat dripping down the back of your neck? Not yet. <laughs> Don't worry. You will meet Moses in the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next one, you're just going to look. You're going to say, you, good people, live. Just move on to the next one. Right. I need to teach you how to do the next one. So I'm not going to leave you to swim with the sharks. This year we are only playing on the shore. I'm teaching you how to surf. Don't worry. Next one. Great white is coming. You know the great white. You ever saw a great white? Let's see. Can we draw a great white? Doesn't it look like a great white? Hi, Bo. I, 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 Mr. K. Oh, Mr. K. You know, Hecho. Oh, there's the great white. You know the great white. She's coming that, in the next one. Are you that ready? Looks like, that looks like a samosa in oil. The samosa shark. You get a tiger head shark and in Durban. Ah, but you know what? I, I actually <laughs> wouldn't put it because Durban is the home of the samosa. Yeah. I'm sure you guys be getting a samosa shark here in Durban. Yes. Do you guys ever see samosa sharks? All right, you're going to see a samosa shark now. Right, watch. 2 over 3x minus 1 over 2 into. 4x minus 5 over 6. Ah, that's a great 10 one. Right, let's do it together. Now you need to pay attention. I'm only doing one, and I'm going to give you one to do by yourself. So you need to follow how I do this one. Booga nicely. Right. You might be doing it in a different way in school. I'm going to show you my way of doing it. Pay attention. We are adding or subtracting fractions. So we find what we call the LCD, lowest common denominator. Yes or no? So we do this like that and like that. What number will a 3 and a 2 go into? What number will a 1 and a 6 go into? Ah, so I'm going to put a tick here. Tick means you understand. We are all on the same page. Do we all understand what I just did? Are you sure? Yes. Right. Now pay attention. Don't write. Don't write. Watch. We divide. Three goes in old denominator into new denominator. Whatever is left over, we multiply by the numerator. So we divide and multiply. What do we do? Say it again. Uh, okay, I think that was the load shading. That was the load shading. Uh, Asanain, are we still there? Are we still live, Brew? 
I can still Mr. smell your oud perfume and I can still hear you. So hey, I got your second. back. So in case you drop off, we will we'll keep the session running. All right. All good on our side. Okay, so then let us give it a couple of seconds for us to come. Give us one minute. Okay, no problem. So Mr. Okay. Kota is just getting up the generator for the load shedding. Coming to you live from Durban, from the Alphala it College. It's a good break for them also now. Yes, there we go. Your brains are fried. Oh, it's still fresh. Fresh like a Maguinia and Mince. Or like a Kota. It's come bad. You are fresh. Asanen, how are you doing there, bro? I think your, your code, they, they're, quite, they're quite lit. Uh, the Mexican wave was awesome. I'm from Schlanga. Hey, Schlang Schlanga, dude. Hitting the waves today. As the name, keeping the show going. As the name, keeping the show going. We are just rebooting. Okay, no problem. Ah, we are there. As the name, are you there, bro? Yes, I am. How South Africa and the world? Are you here? Are you here? I'm chilling. Alam Sheikh, it's time for grade 10. Tando Happiness says, I wish you were my maths teacher. Hey, Badri Alam, how are you, my brother? Mugabe Dlamini, dropping pure maths like a MK1 golf in, a, in Phoenix. <laughs> like a G6. Right, are, are we live? Are we good there? Asadin, can I take it away? Go for it, man. Let's go, let's go. Land cool, bro. <laughs> Three goes it. into six, right? Don't write. Three goes into six. How many times? Ah, don't say twice. We don't say twice in maths. We say two times. You know why? It will help you to remember. Two times two. Three goes into six. How many times? And two times two is how much? Four X. Yes or no? Minus. Two goes into six, how many times? Three times one is how much? Very good. We're done with the first bracket. Second bracket. One goes into six, how many times? Six times four is how much? 24x minus. Six goes into six once, one time. One times five is five. You all understand that? We are not yet done. We are not yet done. Now we do. We're multiplying. So numerator times numerator, denominator. So watch what I do. 4x minus 3 into 24x minus 5 all over 6 times 6 is how much? Right. That's not my final answer. I need to foil this. First out the inner last. Let's all do it together. Ubuntu. Let's do it together. Simonie. 24 times 4. X times X. Right. 4X times minus 5. Minus 20X. 3 times 20. Negative times positive. Negative. 3 times 24. 72X. Negative times negative. 3 times 5. Over 36. Can that be my final answer? I need to simplify. So watch. 96x squared. Minus 20 minus 72. Minus 92x plus 15. All over. Final answer. Five marks. So we did the LCD. Then we did numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Then we foiled it all out. Then we collected like terms. This is the process. This is the procedure. There are many ways to do it. There's two or three different ways. There are many ways. I don't have all the time to show you all the ways. I like doing this. I take, you know why? I'm following Bodmas. We do brackets first, am I right? So that's what I'm doing. Whatever is in the bracket, I do first. 
whatever is in the bracket I do first. Do you want to try one like this on your own? Okay, you think you're ready for it already? Right, LCD, LCD, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, collect your like terms, bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your auntie or uncle. We don't know who Bob is. I bo, I bo, I bo, I bo. The builder, yes. Yeah, you can. So what? Uh, can we can we still simplify this further? Is there a number that will go? Two? No. Three? No, don't do it. Just leave it like this. Just leave it like this. Just leave it like that. That's your final answer. Right. Let's see. It's fine. I'm just writing the new question down for all of you. For those of you who have done. Let's do this. Let's say 2a into 3a minus a quarter into 5 over 6a plus 1. Haha, <laughs> let's do that one. And let's make it more interesting. Let's make it 2a squared. For 5 marks, simplify. That's a great 10 exam question. Do your brackets first. You distribute last. You throw the 2a squared in last. That you do last. You sort this out first in bigger brackets. So let me just do your first step for you. Let me help you. So we're going to do, this is equal to 2a squared. Right. Let's first sort this out. Let's make that over 1. Let's make that over 1. Let's find LCD here, LCD here. Go for it. Have fun. I'll stretch my legs. I said, hey, now, how's our comments coming in? How's our learners? Are they engaging with us? It's From lit. around SA. It's lit. Northern Cape in the house. What's your LCD here? Four. What's your LCD there? Six. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Tell her what you must. Transformation is last, the last topic for today, Amina. That one will be at two o'clock, quarter past two. Jordan Foyers, it's lekker. Us lekker, he. Us lekker, da. What's for lunch, for Mr. Lunch? Culture? I don't know, bro. Coffee and water for me. Hi, bro. <laughs> That's my fuel, jet fuel. We are moving on jet fuel. Time is flying, guys. Time is flying. It's already quarter past 10. Can you believe it? Time flies when you're in a coma. Uh, sorry, when you're doing maths. <laughs> <laughs> this is called a maths coma. Boot camp. Lockdown in maths. Let's do this first step. 1 into 4, 4 times. 4 times 3A is 12A. I hope you got that. Minus 4 into 4 once, 1 times 1 is 1. 6 into 6 once, 1 times 5a is 5a. Plus 1 into 6, 6 times, 6 times 1 is 6. Let's put a tick there. Did you all get that? Yay! Now, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. 2a squared. Numerator times numerator. In fact, let's 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 pull that out. Watch here, watch here, watch here. So this is the way we're gonna do it. Numerator times numerator, that's over one. One times four is four times six is twenty-four. Twelve a times five a sixty a squared. 
12a times 6, 12 times 6 is 72a. That's my outer, my inner, minus 5a. My two last, minus 6. Can that be my final answer? No. Let's remove the, let's simplify here first. 2a squared into 60a squared. 72 minus 5. What is 72 minus 5? 67a. Minus 6, sorry. Minus 6. All over 24. Now be careful. Be careful. That cannot be my final answer. I need to remove my brackets. Watch. Watch. Put your pens down. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 24. How many times? 12. Now we multiply. Now let's distribute. 1 times 60 is 60. A2 times A2. A4. Positive times positive, positive. 1 times 67 is 67. A2 times A1, A3. 2 plus 1 is 3. Positive times negative is a negative. 1 times 6 is 6. A squared. All over. All over what? Final answer. Are you loving it? Are you loving it? Are you, are you enjoying it? Are you winning? Are you coming right? Are you understanding? The main thing for you to do now is to understand. You will have to go home and practice or watch it again over and over and over. Until it goes into your bloodstream. Until it goes into your veins. Learn. I beg you, learn. No. And here we go. So that was a binomial times a binomial. A grade 10 one. Exam question. Five to six marks. Ladies in the front here, we okay? Thumbs up. You understanding what we're doing? You sure? You're going to go home, practice and get it right. I'm sure you got it right already. Yeah. Yeah, but then the problem, the challenge is you don't have a common factor over all. You don't have a number from 67. Unless there was a number that, is, that could go into 60, 67, 6 and 12. So just leave it like this now. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to separate. Leave it over one denominator also. No problem. Okay. Here goes. We are now going to be squaring a binomial. Pay attention. Pay attention. It looks like we're going to, we're going to finish products before break. It looks like after break, we're going to come back and do more algebra. It looks like it. Because I see that we have to start from scratch with everyone. So watch. Now we're squaring a binomial. A bin so here's a grade 9 squaring a binomial. Right. Just to show you something with the difference of two squares. Difference of two squares. So if I told you 2x minus 3, 2x plus 3. You all know how to do that. Now pay attention. And you need to pay attention very carefully. In a situation like this, where you've got two of the same terms, and they're separated by a positive or negative, guys, do not go and foil it out. Don't say first, outer, inner, last. Only for the difference of two squares. A binomial, then what we do, we just do the first two and the last two. That's all. You know why? Outer and inner will cancel each other out. So 2x times 2x is what? 4x squared. Negative times positive is a? 3 times 3 is? And there we go. That's your final answer. You don't need to do inner and outer. They will cancel each other out. Make a note of this. 
make a note of this so before we do squaring a binomial let me show you let me give you a grade 10 one like this it's Question. easy okay give me a second there we go right for the difference of two squares the first two times the last two that's all okay i'm going to do another one example number two example number two let's say i told you 4x minus 1 uh, 4x minus 1 4x plus 1 let's do this one let's do this one all together so it's a difference of two squares am i right so what did i say first two and last two yes or no so 4x times 4x is how much x squared negative times positive is a one times one is final answer okay here's example number three three over four x minus two three over four x plus two now here you don't need to go this year when you've picked it up that it's a difference of two squares just do first two, next two. You don't need to do LCD here. Don't do your LCD here. So let me just rewrite it there on the top for you. Let me rewrite it for you on the top. 3 over 4x minus 2. 3 over 4x plus 2. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Right. The question in the exam, what will it say? So in your answer, watch here. So the first two and the last two. Numerator times three times three. Four times four. X times X. Negative times positive. Two times two. Final answer. Nothing more you can do with that. Wabon. Gabon. Shop. Right. That was the difference of two squares. A great ten one. Now let's do squaring a binomial where you got two terms squared. Then we're going to do binomial times trinomial. Then we are done with products. Then we go for break. We come back. Factorization exponent equations. Okay. Don't worry. I won't leave you to swim on your own. All right. So you've taken it down. You've taken it down. You've taken it down. Very simple. Straightforward. Watch this one. Simplify. Now pay attention. 2a minus 3 squared. That's a grade 9 question. I'm going to take you to a grade 10 one now. Pay attention. Right, watch what we do here. Question. Answer. In your exam. Do not make it 2a minus 3, 2a minus 3, then foil it out, then collect. Too much time. So let me show you a shortcut. Let me show you a shortcut. Put your pens down. Right. So we got two terms squared. So we square the first term. What do we do? We square the first term. So two squared is four a squared. So we square the first term. Yes or no? Right. Now pay attention. Now we square the second term. Square the second term. Pay attention. Negative squared is positive. It will always be positive because no matter what square, negative squared is positive, positive squared is also positive. 3 squared is how much? Not 3 times 2, 3 squared, 3 times itself. Right. Now we need the middle term. You know what we do for the middle term? Remember, this must be a trinomial. I must have three terms here. 
So how do I get my middle term? We multiply the 2 and we times it by 2. Watch. So 2a times minus 3 is minus 6a. Yes or no? We multiply the 2 and now we double it. We times it by 2. So minus 6a times 2 is minus 12a. And there we go. We get it in one step. You multiply the 2 and you double it. Or you, you multiply the two terms in the brackets and you times it by 2. So here we go, 4a squared, and you get your answer in one step. So square the first term to get the first. Square the second term to get the last. To get the middle term, you multiply the two inside the brackets, and you times it by two. Multiply the two and times it by two. So you multiply the two terms inside the bracket, and then you times it by 2 to get your middle term. Multiply your two terms inside the bracket and times it by 2. So let's see if you can follow the shortcut for the next one. Then I'm going to give you a grade 10 one night. All right. Let's go. I'll give you another. Let me do one more for you. Let me do one more for you. And we're going to apply the shortcut that I just showed you. Give me any number. 5x minus 4. All squared. This is grade 9. This is, we're not yet in grade 10. Grade 10, we're going to use the same system, only with fractions. Yes or no? Let's apply the shortcut. Let's see who remembers how to do this without looking at how it's done. Let's see if you can do it. Let's all do it together. Square the first term. 5 squared is what? 25 x squared. Yes or no? Minus 4 squared. 16. Yes or no? Multiply the 2. Minus 4. Minus 4 times 5. Minus 20. Minus 20 times 2. Minus 40x. Final answer. We multiplied the two terms inside the bracket and we times it by 2. Did you all get that one right? Well done, well done, well done, well done. You ready for a great 10 one? This is still great? Okay. As our onlineers, greetings, let's say the let's do this, let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Right, while you guys are taking that one down, those of you who are quite fast, you can start with the next one. Here's a great 10 one coming up. Here's a great 10 one coming up. And let's make it so right. Simplify. Here's the question in the exam. 2 over 3x minus 5 all squared. Apply the same rule. Square the first. Square the second. Multiply the 2 and times it by 2. Or if you want to, if you want to do LCD in here, you can do LCD first if you want to also. There are two ways of doing it. Decide whichever way, way you want to. You can either do LCD, then square, or you can square from the start. It's up to you. Method number one, method number two. Whichever one you feel comfortable doing, do it. But get it right. Whichever one you feel comfortable doing, do it. But get it right. B. 
Beautiful. Nice to see 500 learners fully engaged. Some girls are rubbing their hands already. They, they're itching now. Say, come, Mr. K. Dala, we done. You think you're right or you know you're right? You know you're right. Like a boss. Doing good so far. Sir Isaac Newton, Yusuf Valley. Enjoying the lesson. What a great method, Yusuf. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, South Africa. Welcome, International. Welcome, SADC regions. Welcome, UK. Welcome, Middle East. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Are you done? All right, what? You, okay, come. I'm going to do LCD then square. So, two, let me rewrite it here. I'm going to need some space. I'm just going to rewrite it on the top, guys. Imagine one teacher teach the whole world. How nice, ne? If I told you every Saturday we go online and I teach you maths, you'll all come. Serious. Lovely. Let's go. 2 over 3x minus 5 all squared. Let's go. Let's dala. Come, my great tens. Come, my babies. Come, my children. Come, my smallies. Let's do it together. I'm going to do LCD then square. You know why? Because I, I want to and I like it. <laughs> so three and a one, what's your LCD? Three, right? Three into three once, one times two X is two X. Minus one into three, three times, three times five is? Yes or no? Now watch, now watch. I'm going to square that and I'm going to square this. So my denominator 3 squared is how much? Now here's my final answer coming up. Square the first term. 4x squared. Yes or no? Square the second term. Negative squared is positive. 15 squared is 15 times 15. 225. Now let's multiply the two. Let's multiply the two. Minus 15 times 2 is minus 30. So we multiply the two terms and we times it by 2. So minus 15x times 2. Minus 60. 15 times 2. So minus 30x times 2. Minus 60x. And there we go. Final answer. Final answer. We did it in two steps. How many of you got this one right? How many of you got this one right? Well done. Well done. The rest of you, ish, you got problems. The rest of you, you got problems. Do you want to try one more? Like this. Okay, here's it. Uh, 4 over 5x minus 2 all squared. Come, one last one. One last one. Before I do a binomial times a trinomial. Then we're going to go for break. It's 10.30 on the dot. We are in this maths coma for the past one and a half hours. Well done. I know your buttocks must, your bum cheeks must be very sore right now. Relax. Relax. We almost, we started with the formalities 15 minutes late. So give us another 10 minutes or 15 minutes before break. We're going for break now. We are about to go for break. We have completed the entire products. I must still do factorization, algebraic fractions, equations. Ooh, eh, eh. We have got problems after break. And then we still got functions and transformations. Hi, Bo, Mr. Counter. You're using problem in keys, name in vain there. <laughs> I love that name. I was coming here and yeah. I said, you know, had so much to do with math. No, it's one of the greatest uh, activists that uh, ever existed. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's because of all of that that we're enjoying our democratic freedom. Yes. And we Absolutely. are able to beam to all of you all over the world. So KZN mm -hmm. is not just the spice mecca of the world. It is now the max mecca of the world. <laughs> 
mathematics at the beach. <laughs> How nice. Maths by the sea. You. Wait until you get back to Joburg. Aish. Aish. I don't want to go back to Joburg. I want to stay in Durban. Can I stay here? Can I stay here, please, man? No, I must first. No, I must go back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Mugabe Dlamini is hitting Sabella. The horse lagam posh. How we there? When we there? Away on Masakan. Walagan Jan, Nomagan Jan, Paka, Misa on. No, but we're going to block any kind of foul. Um, foul, uh, foul, 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 foul is foul out. language, red card. Foul language is out. We only do shiki. Nyamas. Let's go. Are you done? Four over five X minus two all squared. Do you think you're right or you know you're right? Check them. Check their confidence out, bruh. Check their confidence out. They say they know they're right. Let's go. Let's go. LCD five. Five into one. Uh, once. One times four is four X minus. One into five. Five times. Five times two is how much? Right. Five squared is how much? Did you all get that? Yay, well done. Let's now square here. Square the first term. 16x squared. You got that? Well done. Minus 10 squared is how much? 100. Yes or no? Now we multiply the two. So 4x times minus 10. That's the rule. We multiply the two is minus 40x and we times it by 2 is how much? How many of you now got it right? That's better. Give yourselves a nice round of applause. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Now we're on to the last one before break. The binomial times the trinomial. Then we are done kaufela with the whole of products. We are done with production. <laughs> Watch here. Simplify the next one. Onlineers, did you guys get this last one right? Hey, Ntabi Seng. Well done. Guillotine got it right. Zidane got it right. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Last one, last one. Now, I'm showing you a grade nine one first. Then grade 10. Right, let's go, grade nine. Grade nine, grade nine. Remember guys, this is not the only session we're gonna have for the year. We're gonna have another session in August. We could, uh, before your September assessment, we're going to have another two-day session before your final. By then, you should be flying like that rocket in maths. Let's go. Grade 9. Right, watch. 2x minus 3 into 4x squared minus 5x plus 1. That's a grade 9 one. Right, put your pens down. Put your pens down. So I'm doing a grade 9 one. Then I'm going to do a grade 10 one for you. And then I'm going to give you one grade 10 one to do on your own. So how many problems are we doing here? Three. And this is taking us to break. After this is break. Right, so pay attention. Put down your pens. Let me show you how the grade 9 one is done. First times all. 
second times all and we collect our like terms so let's go let's do it together let's do it together this is equal to first term times all so 2x times 4x squared is 8x cubed yes or no right positive times negative is a negative 2x times 5x, 10x squared. 2x times 1. Right, so I'm done. First times all. Now let's do second times all. Minus 3 times 4x squared is minus 12x squared. Minus 3 times minus is positive. 3 times 5 is 15x. Minus 3 times plus 1 is minus 3. Can that be my final answer? Why? Collect like terms. So 8x cubed. Minus 10 minus 12 minus 22x squared. Plus, 12, plus 2 plus 5 plus 17x minus 3. Boom, boom. Final answer. Are you all happy with that? Right, now wait. Now wait. That was your grade 10 one, uh, grade 9 one. Let's do a grade 10 one. Why you here? Why you here? Let's do it. Don't write. Don't write. Okay. It gets a bit rough, so follow. It gets a bit rough, so follow. Question in the exam, simplify. 2 over 3x minus 4 into 5x squared minus a half x plus 1 over 3. Aha. Now what? Do not write. Do not write. We are going to do LCD, LCD. Watch. I'm going to make it as easy for you to understand. We're going to make that over 1. Make that over 1. Watch, LCD, 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 LCD. What's my LCD here? What's my LCD here? One, two, and three. Right, put down your pens. Do not write. Right, LCD, three into three once, one times two x is minus one into three, three times, three times four is Right, so we're done. Let's do LCD here. 1 into 6, 6 times. 6 times 5 is what? 30x squared minus 2 into 6. 3 times. 3 times 1x. Plus. 3 into 6, how many times? 2 times 1 is? Ha! Ah, we're not yet done. We just did LCD. Now, numerator times numerator denominator times denominator so let's do denominator times denominator three times six is how much right first times all second times all collect your like terms yes or no let's do it together don't write 2x times 30 so 2 times 30 is what 60 x times x squared x cubed Positive times negative is a negative. 2 times 3 is 6. x times x is x squared. 2x times 2, 4x. So I'm done with the 2x. Ah! Phew, now it gets big. Negative times positive, negative. 30 times 12, 360. x squared. Negative times negative. 12 times 3. X. Negative times positive. 12 times 2. Can that be my final answer? Here comes your final answer. Here comes your final answer. Let's collect our like terms. 60 X cubed. Minus 6. Minus 360. Because it's x squared. Minus 366x squared. 
4x plus 36x plus 40x. 4 plus 36 or 36 plus 4 is 40. Anything else? No. Minus 24. All over 18. You know, this one looks like you can simplify it even further. What number will go? I think a 2. I don't think a 3. 40 over 3, no. How? We can simplify. We can divide everything by 2. So this is not our final answer. I'm moving up to the top because I don't have space. I'm moving up to the top. That is not its sim most simplest form. That is not its most simplest form. Guys, I'm only moving. I'm going from here to the top because I don't have space. Let's divide everything by 2. So 2 goes into 60 how many times? So 30x cubed minus 366 divided by 2. 183 x squared plus 40 divided by 2. 20x minus 12, 24 divided by 2. 12. All over. 18 divided by 2. Ha ha. That's it. That's it. We got it. We found gold. Max is alive. It's alive. Yeah. We are done. That is a five or six mark question for grade 10. Do you want to try one last one before break like this on your own? It's fine. La pile. La pile. The stomach is crazy. They are hungry. What is the time? Hey, we are on time. We are on. Wait, wait, wait. Sit down. Sit down. I know you're excited. It's 10.43. We will resume at 11.15. So you've got a 30-minute break, guys. You've got a 30-minute break. A nice comfort break. Go have a lack of breakfast. Go stretch. Get some oxygen into your brain. We are coming back for factorization and equations. Here we come. Algebra, we are here to destroy math. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the first session of today. Onlineers, you guys all deserve a nice round of applause as well as our on-siteers. Right. Well done, well done, well done. Enjoy your break. I see you when the break resumes. Don't miss 11.15. Make sure your bums are on your seat, your eyeballs on screen. Enjoy your break, guys. Enjoy your break. There we go, Mr. Kota. Let me give you a chance to relieve your vocal cords. Um, don't spin too early, oh, Mr. Kota. This. this is a comrade's marathon of mathematics. So that was Mr. Kota uh, with the grade 10 maths workshop. We're focusing on algebra today. We're having great fun. The Chias is here. The learners um, that is present here at the Alphala College in KwaZulu Natal, Durban. They're definitely a very energetic bunch. All right, Mr. Kota, we'll speak to you after your your break. So there we go. Um, don't forget to subscribe to OCAF SA's YouTube and Facebook page. This session is hosted on OCAF's YouTube uh, page. It will not be remo removed. All that you have to do is subscribe to OCAV's um, YouTube platform. They'll be putting that on the screen. OCAV South Africa. That is, uh, if you go to YouTube, search OCAV South Africa. It will bring up the YouTube uh, platform. Please do subscribe uh, to the channel. We will be hosting some more of these maths interventions to assist you 
and prepare you for your examination. We are on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Please send us a few photos um, showing us how you are connecting to the session. If you are enjoying it, please hit us up in the comments. You've been an amazing um, online audience. And we will be resuming um, at about quarter past 11. Yes, this is the grade 10 uh, OCAF SA Maths Workshop. We are focusing on algebra. And we'll go all the way to 3 o'clock. We will be having some breaks in between. And uh, please um, uh, rest assured that these videos uh, will be um, placed, uh, is currently on OCAF's YouTube uh, platform. And I will also be sharing a video with you to show you the OCAF's website. And that is ocafsa.org.za. And that video has, um, it's a event page for our maths workshop. And I'll be showing you shortly uh, when we do, before we do resume uh, the videos of the session. So we will be embedding the videos for today's uh, session as well as tomorrow's session. Don't, don't forget to subscribe to, uh, to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give our uh, video here a like. Hello there, my name is Sorrisa Makaila. I am in my first year of my undergraduate studies in natural science at the University of Cape Town. And as a result of hard work, dedication, support from friends, family, and teachers, and OCAF's commitment to ensuring quality education for South Africans, I was able to obtain 100% in my metric uh, examination for mathematics in 2022. So this was a culmination of very hard work that has been put in by myself and my teachers from earlier grades, more especially grade 11. I mean, this is a crucial part of your schooling career because universities offer provisional and conditional acceptances based on grade 11 results. And it's very heartbreaking to be willing to work hard towards your dreams and metric and not having anything to show for that with your grade 11 results. So it's very crucial that you work hard. And OCAF SAA has been greatly instrumental in me reaching my goals in metric. I believe that you can derive great value in attending the OCAF SAA mathematics workshops. I have um, gotten a lot of help from them and I have a lot to show for it. So please just check that out and keep on working on your dreams and ensuring that you have a bright future for yourself. Lastly, I would like to thank OCAF SA for their commitment in essentially building a, bit, a better South Africa because we know that um, in future careers that will be in great demand are those that involve science and mathematics and by attending these workshops you will be able to ensure that you participate in the future economy by working in these industries. So thank you very much to OCAF SA and good luck on your examinations. There we go. That was a video from Rory Sang, and Rory Sang was one of our grade 12 uh, workshop uh, maths participants. Yes, um, this is the grade 10 uh, maths workshop, uh, but OCAF is quite um, uh, well known for the grade 12 workshops that we have been hosting. So this year we have decided to uh, conduct this grade 10 workshop. We have conducted grade 11 workshops. And that was Rory Sang, and he attended our workshop in 2022, 20, um, and he achieved 100% in mathematics. He's currently uh, studying uh, actuarial science at uh, UCT, and he, con and he continues to be a, a hero to OCAF's maths project.
so welcome back. During this break time, we're going to be speaking to some of the educators as well as the participants. There's about a 400 um, learners that's present at the Al Falah College in, in Durban. Uh, the atmosphere is absolutely scintillating. There's a high energy and a vibe. And they are also under the mentorship and the guidance of uh, educators. So we do have an educator and we're going to be speaking to him and we're going to be finding out what his experience has been like. We're going to call him on and then here we go. Let's let's bring the, the educator on board. Hi, good day, sir. Can you hear me? I don't seem to be hearing you. Uh, maybe we can bring you on just now. Okay, so we will uh, sort out that um, audio issue and we will get that educate uh, educator on and just get a sense of um, what benefit this uh, workshop, this grade 10 maths workshop has been to him as an educator as well as his class. So we will test that audio and let's see if our audio is working. Okay, can you hear me, sir? Let's see if we can get audio playback from your side. I don't seem to be getting any audio playback. We will we will we'll try again. So we will resume shortly and we will be speaking to Mr. Temba. He's an educator from the Umlazi region.
When we take care of each other, wonderful things happen. Children thrive, the elderly rejoice, and communities celebrate. OCAF South Africa, a charitable WACAF organization, makes it easy to share the care. All donations are plowed into Sharia compliant investments, while the fruits support a wide variety of charitable causes. Visit okafsa.org.za to discover how your wakaf can bless our community with a legacy of care. Let's see if we can get on our educator from the Alphala College. Let's test that audio. Good morning, sir. Can you hear me? It uh, doesn't seem as if our audio is working. We'll try and resolve that issue. Hello, Sanam, yes. No, that that person, I can't, I can't actually see anything. Jesus Christ, why must they move the thing? I didn't want to. I didn't want everybody. The rest of. Mute me. There I we can go. hear. No man, no man, stand quiet. So there we go. So we're going to get some feedback from one of the educators from the session. We're going to get some feedback from the educator. Good morning, sir. Can you hear me? I can't hear you.
Assalamualaikum, how's it, bro? I'm okay. That's fine. I'm just testing the the audio that we is working. We all good, bro. We all okay. good. I can hear you loud and clear. You can see me loud and clear. There's absolutely okay. no problem. Okay, Mr. Kota, can we get us from that side? Mr. Kota, Mr. Kota, Gee. Mr. Kota, can we get that educator on now and we can speak to him briefly? Give me a second. So we will be speaking to an educator from the school and okay. we will be trying to Okay, Mr. Kota, can we have that educator on now uh, for, for a very brief moment and we can speak about his experience? I'm going to unmute. I'm going to unmute the educator the moment he is in your seating position. There we go. Good morning to you, sir. How are you doing? Kindly let us know what your name is and what is your designation in terms of um, related to the education department. Yes, good morning, sir. I am Tim Dikosimdiniso, the subject advisor of mathematics at Ulati District. Okay, fantastic. Tell me how has the grade 10 OCAV uh, SA Maths workshop been going? How is the atmosphere at Al Fala College? The atmosphere is so good, uh, sir. Uh, our learners are enjoying the lessons and they have all attended this session. We have got two students, one from Oakby and the other one from Omakuta High School. And okay. this is coming from the township of Lazi, but we do have other students from high school. Uh, and I think when I look at these learners, they are enjoying this lesson. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Is there any is there anything that you are taking away from these sessions as an educator from the energy of Mr. Kota and the manner in which he presents these workshops? Yes, I think we can take home because uh, the facilitator is using different methods to present a certain concept, hoping that our learners will be able to understand mathematics much better. Okay, no, fantastic. Well, we see you tomorrow for um, the great 10 maths paper as well? Yes. Okay, thank you so much for your time and we hope to catch up with you during the course of the day as well as for the grade uh, 10 Maths Paper 2 workshop. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr.
Quality education is a cornerstone of a thriving and prosperous society. However, the South African educational system is under strain, necessitating the work of the Educational Waka Fund to help ease the pressure. Our matric mathematics upgrade project alone has already impacted the lives of over 40,000 matriculants. At the schools participating in our program, the pass rate increased from 70% to a remarkable 100%. For one student in particular, it was a life-changing experience. So I've never reached that kind of height before. It was quite a milestone and I believe that our cohort has been quite instrumental in me reaching that milestone. Um, and I also liked the spirit Mr. Kota made sure that we're always engaged with the content. So for me, that's what made it a very um, positive. With the very first word of the Holy Quran being revealed as read, educating our community is an act of faith. With your help, we can transform many more lives. Hello there, my name is Sororisa Makaila. I am in my first year of my undergraduate studies in natural science at the University of Cape Town. And as a result of hard work, dedication, support from friends, family, and teachers, and OCAF's commitment to ensuring quality education for South Africans, I was able to obtain 100% in my metric uh, examination for mathematics in 2022. So this was a culmination of very hard work that has been put in by myself and my teachers from earlier grades, more especially grade 11. I mean, this is a crucial part of your schooling career because universities offer provisional and conditional acceptances based on grade 11 results. And it's very heartbreaking to be willing to work hard towards your dreams and metric and not having anything to show for that with your grade 11 results. So it's very crucial that you work hard. And OCAF SA has been greatly instrumental in me reaching my goals in metric. I believe that you can derive great value in attending the OCAF SA mathematics workshops. I have um, gotten a lot of help from them and I have a lot to show for it. So please just check that out and keep on working on your dreams and ensuring that you have a bright future for yourself. Lastly, I would like to thank OCAP SA for their commitment in essentially building a, bit, a better South Africa because we know that um, in future careers that will be in great demand are those that involve science and mathematics and by attending these workshops, you'll be able to ensure that you participate in the future economy by working in these industries. So thank you very much to OCAF SA and good luck on your examinations. Okay, and we're back. Great dance. Hope you guys enjoyed the break. I know it's been a 30 minute breather, quick breather, but we've got a big day ahead of us. Lots of work to cover today, guys. Kilotin, are we good? Guys, if, you're, if you guys can't hear, we are moving at super high speed internet. It means your internet connection at home must be a bit bad. Zainab Gangat, 
Ganget, I'm from PMB, from MMSG. Well done, well done. Guys, if your internet is bad, if your internet is bad, go out and come back in. Asanain, we're all good there, bro. Yusuf Valley, ready to get back to work. Asanain, can you hear me there, bro? Loud and clear. Take it away, Mr. A, without delay. Earth calling to Asanain. <laughs> Space calling to Asanain. Asanain is at the command center, central command center on Earth. We are in orbit at the moment. We are in mass orbit. Planet mass. Ready for factorization. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. Now, guys, put the heading factorization. We're going to go. There are four different types. The question in the exam will just say factorize fully. Fully means to factorize until you cannot factorize any further. Welcome back, great tens. South Africa, Africa, Middle East, and the international community. We start now. Look here. I want you to pay attention. When the question says factorize fully, we're going to firstly take out the highest common factor. If there's no highest common factor, we'll check if it's a difference of two squares, dots. If it's not the difference of two squares, it must be a trinomial. And if it's not a trinomial, it must be the sum or the difference of two terms. Make a note of this. Your final answer must be only one term. Your final answer must. B, one term. You cannot have more than one term in your final answer. Then you will know you are wrong. So let's start with the first one. Highest common factor. Take this down. Take this down. We've got a lot of work to cover today. In fact, I might even go into, we're going to do algebra now. Maybe this might even take us till our next break. And then functions. I can see that many learners are joining us here for the first time and they completely blank about math. So we've got to start from the basics, moving up to advance. Asanayin, how's our onlineers doing there? Back on track. Well done. Let's go. Right, so here's a question. Like I said, guys, we always check whether it's highest common factor first. So let's start. Let's show you the different types of highest common factor. Right, watch here. So the question in the exam says factorize fully. I tell you 8x squared y cubed minus 10x5 y8 plus 12x y z. Okay, question in the exam. Answer. Right. It means exactly what it says. Take the highest co the highest common factor and the lowest power. So you take the lowest common power. Lowest common power and the highest common factor. Lowest common power. So watch here. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Put your pens down. Right. Between an 8, a 10, and a 12, what's common? 2. The lowest power, I got x2, x5, x1. What, what will I take out? The lowest common power, x1. 
between y3, y8, y1. What's my lowest power? And that's all that's common. I can't take out z. Z's not common in all. Now pay attention. Can you see my answer is one term? One term times one term. My answer is one term. But if I had three terms on the top, I must have three terms in the bracket. And what are we doing? We are dividing by what we took out. Listen to what I'm telling you. What you took out, you are dividing. Let's do it together. Follow me. 8 divided by 2 is 1. X2 divided by X1. X2 over X1. When you divide and bases are the same, what do you do to the powers? Subtract. So what is 2 minus 1? 1. Y3, Y1. Y squared or Y2. So we're done with the first term. Second term. Negative divided by a positive is a negative. 10 divided by 2. X5 over X1. Y8 over Y1. Well done. Well done. You guys are such bosses. Positive divided by a positive. 12 divided by 2. X1, X1. Y1, Y1. What am I only left with? And that's your final answer. Your answer is 1 term. Take this one down. Take this one down. For those of you who have taken this one down, your answer is one term. You can't factorize any, any further. For those of you who have taken this one down, I want you to start with the next one already. Minus 3a squared into 12a5b minus 15a3b squared. Plus 18. Oh no. Okay. Let's start over that. 12A5B minus 15A3B2 plus 18A. And I'm going to be more interesting and I'm going to put a negative here. Ha. Let's make that. Right, pull out your highest common factor here. Factorize. So for those of you who have done the first one, for those of you who have done the first one, do this one at the bottom. Onlineers, how are we doing? Schools, how are we doing? Teachers, how are we doing? Are we all okay? We good, we good, we good. Let's go. T Remember in this one, you've got to take out the negative. Huh? You've got to take out the negative also. In the last one, you've got to take out the negative also. That means all the signs inside the bracket will change. Think about it. So we're taking out minus. What's common between a 12, a 15 and an 18? 3. A5, A3, A1. A1, the lowest power. Is B common in all? No. So my highest common factor is only minus 3A. Now let's divide each term by what we took out. So we start with the first one. Negative divided by negative, positive. 12 divided by 3, a5 over A1. Remember, because when we multiply it back, it must give me back the original. Negative times positive is a negative. 3 times 4 is 12. 
A1 times A4 will give me A5, and don't forget the B. Right, next one. Negative divided by negative. 15 divided by 3. A3 over A1. B2. We leave it. Positive divided by negative. 18 divided by 3. A and A will cancel. There's your final answer. All right. Watch the next type of highest common factor after you've taken this one down. Onliners, I hope you guys all got that right. I hope you all got this one correct. Let's do another type of highest common factor. 6P into A minus B minus 3P squared into A minus B. Factorize. Do not multiply out. Factorize. Let's check our onliners. How are we doing there? Zainab Gangat got it right. Well done. Well done, well done, Tabi Seng. Alhamdulillah, well done. Can we leave it as 3a and then put negative in front of 4a and 5a? No, take out the negative. If your first term is negative, take out the negative. Watch this one. Right, I know you guys have seen this in school. Right, watch. Pay attention, it's very easy. It's very easy. Do not multiply it out. It's not a product. The, what does the question say? Does it say simplify or does it say factorize? It says factorize. Right, let's go. This is equal to. I got two terms. Look in the brackets. What's common? Right, so that's out and that's out. What's left over? 6p minus 3p squared. Yes or no? Right. Now pay attention. What's still common here? So we take out p right in the front. a minus b. p and p will cancel. What am I left with? Ah, not just p. 3p is common, guys. 3p is common. Watch. So 6 divided by 3 is how much? P and P will cancel. Negative divided by positive is a 3 and 3 will cancel. P squared divided by P is 1. And there we go. We factorize fully. That's your final answer. Can you see your answer is one term? One term times one term times one term. Your answer is one. One term. Do we think we're right or do we know we're right? We know we're right. Are you with me? Right. Do the next one on your own. 4m squared into x minus y plus 10m into x minus y. Come. It's exactly like this. Do it on your own and get it right. We're going to do one more type of this. We're going to do one more type. Then we're going to do difference of two squares. We're going to do one more type. Do not multiply out. The question says factorize. It does not say simplify. Question. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Thank you, SNA. There we go. What if we say 3p into 2 minus p? Let me see, see what you said. If we go 3p into 2 minus p into a minus b. Yes, absolutely. 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 No problem. Guillotine 786. Perfect. If you had 3p into 2 minus p into a minus b. No problem. 
No problem. Because it's the same in the terms. A times A times B times C is the same type like B times A times C, like C times B times A. It's the same thing. Right. A, a problem like this, five seconds. It shouldn't take you more than five seconds to do. What's common? X minus Y. What's left over? 4M squared plus 10M. What's common here between a 4 and a 10? 2M. And then you got X minus Y. 4 divided by 2 is 2. M squared over M is M. Plus 10 divided by 2 is 5. M and M will cancel. Final answer. Did you all get that right? Yeah. Well done. Give yourself a nice round of applause. Well done. Well done. Well done. But be careful. Be careful. We're now about to do the change of sign. We're now going to do the change of sign. Watch here. This is the last type of highest common factor. We're still in highest common factor. Watch here. So if I told you 4m squared into ax minus y plus 10m into y minus x. Learn this. Now you can see it's the same as this one here. Only thing here I got x minus y, here I got y minus x. Right, let's do it together. Let's do it together. Right, take a deep breath. Let's go. The first thing we need to do is change the sign. So watch what I do, 4m squared, x minus y, you leave that. Minus, that middle sign changes, minus 10m. Swap the two and change both the signs. Swap and change both the signs. So, minus x will become plus x, plus y will become minus y. So, all three signs change. That sign changes, that sign changes, and that sign changes. Now, we take out HCF, x minus y. Now, we left with 4m squared minus 10m. Now, we take out 2m, x minus y. 4 over 2 is 2. m squared over m is m. Minus 10 divided by 2 is 5. m and m will cancel. That's your final answer. Done. Done. Learn. Learn, 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 learn. So we are done with HCF. We are done with HCF. Look, obviously now that you understand the topic when you go back to school, now it will make more sense to you. And you can do more examples from your teachers. The main purpose of today is to make you understand what each topic is all about. So that math is no longer a mystery for you. We are to demystify math. To make you see the picture. So we're done with HCF. Next one, put the heading, difference of two squares, dots. Now here there are a couple of examples. I'm going straight into exam style questions. Watch. So put the heading, difference of two squares. Let me show you how to do it. Difference of two squares. Now, obviously, the question will just say factorize. And let's start with the easiest one. <laughs> X squared minus Y squared. <laughs> as simple as that. This is grade 9. Grade 10 ones are coming up now. What is the system? So the minute you see two terms, perfect squares, and you see the subtraction, not a positive, x squared plus y squared cannot be factorized. It's the difference of two squares, not the sum of two squares. 
So immediately all we do, we put our double bracket to get our two terms, watch here, square root minus square root. So what's the square root of x squared? x minus. What's the square root of y squared? Now we copy and paste and we change the middle sign. That's it. So even if I told you a squared minus b squared, double brackets, what is this going to be? a minus b, a plus b. Yes or no? Good. Take it down. This is grade 9. You won't see this in the exam. Right. Are you guys fired up? Right. Let's have fun. I'm going to give you five questions to do under difference of two squares. Different styles. Learn them all. All exam style questions. For grade 10. And if you learn these five, you'll be completely ready on this topic. So watch. Onliners, you following us? Onliners, you following us? MIA elite, missing in action elite, or Mohammed Ismail Ahmed elite, which one? Missing in action. <laughs> right, here goes. Are you ready? Great tens, are you ready? Right, now watch here. Watch here, watch here, watch here. So come, let's have fun. Let's do this. I'm taking everything out. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to put a line down the page here. And I'm going to put a line down the page there. Right, let's do number one. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's do all these things. Right? Watch here. The first one. The, the question says factorize. What does the question say? Right. Four over nine M squared minus one. Right. The next one. 5a squared minus 5b squared. Number 3. x to the power 4 minus 1. Number 5. 16a squared is equal to 25. Now, this one becomes an equation, right? We know quite, you guys did quadratic equations in school. Right. Shh. Huh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How about this one? 25 into x minus y all squared minus 9. And the last one, 36 minus x plus y all squared. There we go. There's six examples. I don't expect you to do it on your own. I'm going to be doing it for you because we don't have time. Right. In all of them, firstly, we look for highest common factor. Is there a highest common factor? No. So what am I going to do? Double brackets, right? Square root minus square root. What's the square root of 4? 2. What's the square root of 9? 3. What's the square root of m squared? m minus. What's the square root of 1? And now copy and paste and change the sign. 2 over 3m plus 1. And that's your final answer. Yes or no? Let's do the next one. Don't write. Don't write. 
Let's do the next one. Highest common factor. What's common? What am I left with? Now, isn't that the difference of two squares? So what will that break up into? A minus B. There we go, fully factorized. Right, let's go here. X to the power 4 minus 1 will be X squared minus 1, X squared plus 1. Yes or no? But X squared minus 1 is still a difference of 2 squares. X squared plus 1, we can't do anything with that. That we leave. This year will be X minus 1. That will be X plus 1. Final answer, we can't factorize any further. Onliners, put your pens down, pay attention. The last three get a bit rough. In fact, the last two. These are your two higher order questions. Right, let's look at this one. 16a squared minus 25 equals to 0. Yes or no? Now we factorize that equal to 0. 4a minus 5, 4a plus 5. Yes or no? Now, each factor is equal to 0. So you're going to say 4a minus 5 equals to 0. Or 4x, 4a plus 5 equals to 0. First factor equals 0. Or 4a plus 5 equals 0. Let's, let, here you've got to solve. Here the question will say solve for A. So now 4A will equal to 5. Take the 5 over. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. A equals 5 over 4. Or now 4A will equal to minus 5. So A will equal to minus 5 over 4. Let's do the last two. Let's do the last two. Now wait, put your pens down. I want you guys to pick this up in the exam. When they say factorize, do not go out and multiply all this out. You will get zero. We got two perfect squares. So watch here. First bracket, second bracket. Square root of the first, watch here, watch here. Square root of the first term minus square root of the second term. So what's the square root of 25? What's the square root of x minus y squared? It's just x minus y. Minus. What's the square root of 9? Now copy and paste. But we change the middle sign. Yes or no? Now, this can't be. You have to leave your answer, your factorization brackets. Your answer is still one term. Let's multiply out 5x minus 5y minus 3. 5x minus 5y plus 3. There we go. That's your final answer. Now you can do that last one on your own. 36 minus x plus y all squared. Do that one on your own. Exactly the way we did number 5. And get it right. I'm just erasing the first two. I'm writing number six. I want you to do number six on your own. What was it? 36 minus x plus y all squared. Remember, you're not changing this number, this sign in the bracket. You're changing that as a difference of two squares. You ought to be done by now. Honestly, you ought to be done. It's so easy. First bracket, second bracket. Please identify that this is a difference of two perfect squares. That's a difference. Why use the second x minus y not plus? You're going to see now. 
all of them might Remember guys, yeah, we keep that sign there because the square root of x minus y squared is just x minus y. Minus, there's that minus 3. Then we change it to plus on that side, but you leave this one as minus in that bracket. You ought to be done now. Those of you who get the next one right, you're a boss. Big chief, score go. Right, here goes, here goes, here goes. Let's do it all together. Let's do it. What's the square root of 36? Minus. Square root of x plus y squared is just x plus y. Yes or no? And then 6 plus x plus y. Did you all get that right? Yay! Now we remove the inside brackets. 6, that's a bracket. Minus times x is minus x, minus y, 6 plus x plus y. Done. Now we are doing the trinomial. Now if you can't do the trinomial, you can't do quadratics, you can't do functions. You can't do the parabola. And if you can't do the uh, difference of two squares, you can't do the parabola. Do you guys know in functions, f of x is equal to x squared minus 25? Isn't that the difference of two squares? And isn't that a parabola? We're going to be doing that when we do functions. Right, let's do the trinomial. Many of you don't get this right. I'm going to show you two ways. I'm going to show you the easy one and the difficult one. Then we're going to do sum on difference of two cubes. Let's go. Now we are doing the trinomial. So if I tell you x squared minus 2x minus... 15. Right. Pay attention. That's x. That's x. Right. The middle term's power is half that. So it can also look like this. x to the power 4 minus 2x squared minus 15. It's the same. It's a trinomial. Because your middle term's power is half that of your first term's power. Now we put our double brackets. So to get x squared, we're going to say x times x to give me x squared. Now many of you don't know how to get your two terms next to each other here. So all you do, you look at the last term. Give me two factors of 15. Two factors. Two factors of 15. That will give me minus 2 when added. Now let's be stupid. Let's choose 15 times 1. Yes, 15 times 1 will give me a 15. But when added or subtracted, can a 15 and a 1 give me a 2? It will either give me 16 or it will give me 14. Am I right? So we know we're wrong. Right, now watch. Give me another two factors of 15. 5 and 3. Yes. To get minus 2, that must be minus 5. That must be plus 3. Yes or no? And negative times positive is a... And what's my last sign? So now we know we write. I'm showing you a different way, an easy way of factorizing. Now all you do is you copy and paste. We copy and paste. Finish. Two factors of the last term that will give me my middle term 
when added. So I'm going to give you another one. Let's do another one. X squared minus 3X minus 10. Let's do it together. Bracket, 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 bracket. X, X. Give me two factors of 10 that will give me a minus 3 when added. 5 and 2, yes or no? To get minus 3, that must be plus, that must be minus, correct? Because minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3. Negative times positive is a? And what's my last sign? So we know we are right. So copy and paste. Copy and paste. Finish. I'm going to give you two to do, three to do. Come quickly, very quickly. Question number one, x squared minus 8x minus 20. Number two, x squared minus x minus 12. Number three, x squared minus 13x minus 30. Come on, factorize these three quickly. Now, this is when the coefficient is 1. Can you see you've got a 1 there, a 1 there, and a 1 there. There are two types. And this finding the factors, this you can do it on the side in pencil. That you can do on the side in pencil. You don't need to show this. Don't show. You only show your final answer. You only show your final answer. How are we doing, onlineers? X plus 3, X minus 5. That would be plus 3, X minus... Yeah, so if you just add the 2 on the other side, that should be right. No problem, Zidane. No, you only leave your final factorizing brackets. You're not allowed to have brackets within brackets. In factorization, the middle brackets must all be out. I hope that answers you, Mike. Come on, you should be done. Come on, guys, this thing must be done in under. Each one must take you five seconds each. Let's do it. Let's do number one, two, and three quickly. You should be done. Number one. We're going to break that up. We're doing question number one. X, X. Factors of 20 that will give me a minus 8. 10 and 2. Minus plus. Negative times positive is a negative and it is minus 20. So I know I'm right. Minus 10 plus 2. Did you all get that right? Good. Number two. Shh. Number two. X, X. My factors of 12, that will give me a negative one. Four and three. Minus plus. Negative times positive is a negative. My last sign is a negative. I know I'm right. Minus four plus three. If you had X plus three, X minus four, the other way around, no problem. But you can't have x plus 4. If you made this plus 4 minus 3. Yes. Um, in fact, that, will, that won't be right. Because plus 4 minus 3 gives me plus 1, not minus 1. We need minus 1. And the last one. x, x. Factors of 30 to give me minus 13. 10 and 3. Negative, negative. Minus 10 minus 3 gives me minus 13. But negative times negative is a positive. What's my last sign? Ah, that means these factors are wrong. We can't use 10 and 3. We have to use 15 and 2. Minus 15 plus 2 also gives me minus 13. And a negative times a positive is a? 
So there we go, minus 15 plus 2. That's why we couldn't use the 10 and 3. Okay, now you guys are going to enjoy the next one. Onliners. Yes, MIA. 15 and 2, bro. Pay attention. I'm going to teach you guys something new. Put down your pens. Watch this. Watch this. Come on, clear frame. Why are you taking your time here? I click clear frame. Come on. Is this the internet? What's going on? There we go. Right, watch here. Watch here. Do not write. So now you got 8x squared minus 2x minus 15. Watch here. So we need to factorize this. Put your pens down. All of you. Even onlineers, put your pens down. We use what we call Mr. Snodkop. <laughs> now, you know what's a Snodkop? You don't know what's a Snodkop? Somebody who's crying. You all got little brothers who's always crying and the snot is going in their mouth. Right, so here we go. There's their eyes. There's his eyes. There's his nose. There's his mouth. You see the face? There's his tears. There's his snot in the mouth. Ah, gross there. Right, watch here. So what are your eyes? So you need eyes. The nose will put a cross multiplication sign. And the mouth. So there we go. Eyes, nose, mouth. The eyes is the first and the last. 8 and 15. In the mouth is the middle term, minus 2. So there we go. We got eyes, nose, mouth. I, we got eyes, nose, mouth. We leave out two tears, two tears, two drops of snot. <laughs> right. What are our tears? Eyes, nose, mouth. We need two factors. The tears are your factors. And when you cry, your tears go down. So I need two factors of eight. Two factors of eight. Four and two. Now when you cry, does only your one eye cry or both, both eyes? Both. Otherwise there's something wrong with you. So five and three. So we choose two factors of 15. So there we go. Eyes, nose, mouth, tears. What am I short of? The snot. That's why we cross multiply. You see this multiplication? 4 times 3 is the first snot. 12. 2 times 5 or 5 times 2 is my second snot, which is 10. Can a 10 and a 12 give me minus 2 when added? Yes. This must be. To get minus 2, that must be minus. That must be. Because minus 12 plus 10 will give me minus 2. Negative times positive is a negative. What's my last sign? So we know we write. Okay, now watch. So Mr. Snotkop, write. You don't go and write Snotkop in your exam. Your teacher will go write WTF. What the fish? So yeah, first bracket. So now we know we write. We know we are right. Four, five, four, five, two, three, two, three. Get x squared, x, x. Right. You can't go tata my chance. Which one gets the first, which one gets positive, which one gets negative. You can't go pinky, pinky, pinky. You can't. You start here. You start with the two terms next to each other. Five times two is how much? What do I need? 3 times 4 is how much? 12. What do I need? And there we go, fully factorized. We use Mr. Snotkop. I'll show you. Let's do this one again. 
let's do this one again from the start so this is how you'll do it in the exam watch here so now what you do in the exam you go put that you do that 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 they ask you to factorize so what you do put the eyes 8 and 15 put the nose put the mouth i need two factors of 8 4 and 2 Two factors of 15, 5 and cross multiply. 4 times 3 is how much? 2 times 5 is how much? To get minus 2, minus 12 plus 10, yes or no? Negative times positive is a? And there's it. So here's my first bracket. 4, 5, 4, 5. My second bracket, 2, 3. 2, 3. We need x squared, so we put x, x. Start from the two next to each other. Five times two is one. Ten. What do I need? Three times four is twelve. What do I need? Fully factorize. Fully factorize using Mr. Snodcock. I know you guys use different methods at school. This is the nicest way to do it. I use Mr. Snodcock till grade 12. Because this is a parabola in grade 11 and 12. They'll say f of x is equal to that. Sketch the graph. You have to do this. I use it till grade 12. Let's give you another one to do. Let's see if you can use Mr. Snotkop to get 6x squared minus x minus 15. Factorize that. Use Mr. Snotkop. The factors of 6, the factors of 15 that when cross multiplied gives me minus 1 in the mouth. Go for it. When you're writing factors, do you have to write the biggest factor first before multiplying? No. You'll see now when we do this one. Come guys, even onliners. You can't use the first method for this one. This one's got a coefficient in front of x squared. You can't. Nick, you cannot use the first method for this one. You have to use a different system, which I'm showing you now, which is called Snotcop. Right, let's see. How sharp are you? You should be done. Who's done? Who used Mr. Snotkop and got your factors? Let's see how sharp are you. So we're going to do that. We're breaking that up. So we got my factors of 6, my factors of 15, that when cross multiplied, eyes, nose, mouth, minus 1. Factors of 6, 3 and 2. Factors of 15, 5 and 3. Let's cross multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 5 is 1. 10. Can a 9 and a 10 give me a minus 1? Yes. That has to be minus. That has to be plus. Positive times negative is a negative. What's my last sign? So we know we write 3, 5, 2, 3. 3, 5, 2, 3. X, X. We start from the 2 next to each other. 5 times 2 is 10. What do I need? 3 times 3 is 9. What do I need? How many of you got that right? Well done. Give yourselves a nice round of applause. Well done. Well done. You use this method whenever you see a coefficient in front of x squared. So anytime, even if they told you 5x squared minus 3x minus 10, you use not cop. I'm just showing you. So whenever you see a coefficient in front of x squared, you use not cop. All right. Now we're on to the last one. Sum or difference of two cubes. The sum and now the fun is going to start. After I showed you products, after I showed you factorization, now we're going to do algebraic fractions and equations. Using factorization also. So let's go. Now watch here. A x cubed minus y cubed. 
factorize. So the, let's make it plus. Right. Put your pens down. So this could be the sum or the difference of two perfect cubes. So how do we do this? Question, answer. Small brackets, big brackets. Remember when we did difference of two squares, we did square root minus square root. But this is cube, so we find the cube root and the cube root. What's the cube root of x cubed? x plus. What's the cube root of y cubed? Remember, the question is just x cubed plus y cubed. Shh, pay attention. We need three terms here. We square the first term. We square the first term. X squared. To get the last term, we square the second term. We square the second term. Y squared. How do I get the middle term? I multiply the two and I change the sign. X times Y is XY, and I change the sign. Minus XY. And there we go. We're done. So square the first term. Square the first term to get that. Square the second term to get that. To get the middle term, we multiply the two terms in the bracket, and we change the sign. I'm going to give you a couple of examples. We're going to do about three or four examples here, then we're done with factorization. Now the fun is going to start. When we start with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of fractions. Algebraic fraction. Then we go on to equations, quadratic equations, exponents, exponential equations. Okay. This was so important. I had to teach you the whole of products, the whole of factorization. Question. So let's go. G, question. Why was the positive at the top and the negative at the bottom? Wait, in the previous question. In the yes. previous question. To area? Was that in the previous question? Yeah, we're going to do this one. Let's go. I'm clearing the frame, so let's take this out. Response to your answer, to your question. Okay, let's see. Was that in the previous question? Yes. Okay. So, Joeria, just to go back to that question quickly, I think I remember uh, 6x squared minus x minus 15. We took the factors of 6, the factors of 15, when cross multiplied to give me minus 1. So, we had 3, 2, 5, 3. 3 times 3 was 9. 5 times 2 is 10. Now, Joeria, in order to get minus 1, which one must get the positive? Which one must get the negative? The bigger one will get the negative. The smaller one will get the positive. Because minus 10 plus 9, minus 10 plus 9 will give me minus 1. I couldn't have minus 10, minus 9 plus 10. What is minus 9 plus 10? Plus 1. I don't need plus 1. What do I need? Minus 1. I hope that answers your question, Chueria. Question. Okay, good. Okay, Gracie, was there a question? Is it fine if the brackets are swapped? No, uh, it's, look, whether you had, if you could have 3x5, then you had 2x3, 5 times 2 was 10, that was minus plus. You could have had it like that, crazy, or you could have had 2x plus 3, 3x minus 5, no problem. 
but you can't have 2x minus 3. These two brackets can be swapped around, no problem. I hope that answers your question, Gracie. Gracie, you there? Okay, let's go. We're clearing the frame. Let's go. Question. Watch here. 8a cubed minus 27. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Thank you, Gracie. Let's go. Remember something, guys. We can't answer all the questions from everybody around the country. Hassanain, who is uh, controlling our back end there, will choose selected questions and just put them all up. And we won't be able to answer every question from every learner. We've got 28,000 people online right now. If I had to sit here and answer 28,000 questions, we'll leave here by the time you write your final exam. Right, here we go. Perfect cube, perfect cube. What is the cube root of 8? What is the cube root of A cube? What's the cube root of 27? Right. You all got that? Right. Now do we get, we need three terms here. We square the first term. 4A squared. 2 squared is 4A squared. We square the second term. Minus 3 squared is plus 9. We multiply the 2 and we change the sign. Minus 6a plus 6a. There we go, we're done. That's it. It's as simple as that. Five M cube plus one tweet plus one twenty-five. Five m cube plus 125 let's see who can do this one let's see who can do this last one guys in the comment session section do not engage in communication with other learners just leave it pay attention do what you need to do. Get it right. Get it right. We are two weeks away from your final, from your June exam. I told you the first thing you do is you take out your highest common factor, which is 5. M cubed plus 125 divided by 5 is 25. Oh, in fact, we should have made it 625. Am I right? Ah, I made a mistake here, guys. I made a mistake. I should have made the 625. Now take out the 5. Then we'll be left with 125. I took out the highest common factor. Now we got 5. We got our smaller brackets. We got our bigger brackets. The cube root of m cubed is m. Plus the cube root of 125 is 5. Square the first term m squared. Square the second term, plus 25. Multiply the 2, plus 5m. Change the sign, minus 5m. There we go. And that's it, guys. That's it. So now, where do we use factorization in fractions? So we're done with factorization. The question now in the exam says simplify. And they tell you, watch here. X squared minus 6X plus 8. I'm taking this out of a past paper. All over X minus 4. For three marks, simplify. 
Quiet, guys. Let's do this one on our own. Right. Now you need to know, although the question says simplify, you need to factorize and cancel. So if that's your question in your answer, let's do that. That's a trinomial. So that will break up x, x. Factors of 8 to give you a 6. Factors of 8 to give you a minus 6 will be 4 and 2. To get minus 6, minus, minus. And negative times negative is a positive. And I need a positive. So minus 4 plus 2. No, minus 2. Minus 4, minus 2. Copy and paste all over x minus 4. Now, because we're multiplying and dividing, because we're multiplying and dividing, that and that cancels out. What am I left with? That's your final answer. Right, I'm going to give you one to do. This is easy. Factorize and cancel. Factorize and cancel. Those of you who have taken this one down, do the next one. 2x squared minus 2xy over 4x squared minus 4y squared for 4 marks. For 4 marks, simplify. You should be done with this question already. It's so easy. It must be done fast. Shh. Factorize. The only thing we can do there is pull out the highest common factor. What's common? 2x. What's left over? x minus y. Take out 4. Then I'm left with x squared minus y squared. Now that's a difference of two squares. So 2x into x minus y over 4. x squared minus y squared is x minus y, x plus y. x minus y, x minus y will cancel. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 two times. You, what am I left with on the top? x over, what am I left with here at the bottom? 2 into x plus y. And that is your final answer. You cannot simplify that any further. Right. Now we're going to do multiplication and division. Cross cancelling. Watch the next question. Next question. 2x cubed minus 32x over x squared plus 4x multiply by x over x squared minus 4x. For four marks, simplify Exam question. Exam question. Let's factorize. And because we multiply, no LCD. LCD is only for addition and subtraction. Right. Those of you who are sharp, you started with this one already. Those of you who are sharp, you have started with this one already. Let's do it. Let me do it for you. Factorize. You cannot go around cancelling now. What's common between 2 and 32? 2. Between x cubed and x is x. 
What am I left with? 2 and 2, x cubed over x is x squared minus 32 divided by 2 is 16. x and x will cancel over highest common factor, x, x plus 4, multiplied by x over highest common factor, x into x minus 4. That's a difference of two squares, 2x x minus 4. Do you see how important factorization is? Into x plus 4. All over x into x plus 4. Multiplied by x over x into x minus 4. We are multiplying so we can cross cancel. No LCD. x plus 4, x plus 4 x minus 4, x minus 4, x, 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 what am I left with? That's my final answer. Correct. You guys got it right. Well done. Well done. Well done. I give you one last one. One last one. Then we're going to do addition and subtraction with LCD. This is cross-canceling. Then we're going into equations and equations with fractions. These are simplifying. We're not solving for X. Right, here's the last one. Here's the last one coming up. Those of you who took this one down, I know you're working lekker, you're working fast. This is good practice. It's making your brain sharp. Let's see if you can you guys can do this next one. X to the four minus eighty one x squared all over two x divided by x squared minus nine x over 6 for 4 marks. Simplify. Now here we got to dip in times. Factorize, dip in times. Factorize, dip in times. What do you dip in times? You dip in times that. Everything that's to the right of that side. You dip and dive. You don't know tip and dimes. You never saw tip and dimes before in your life. You did. No. So let's do it together. Answer. X to the power 4 minus 81 x squared. My HCF. X squared. What am I left with? X squared minus 81 over 2x times. So dip and times, or flip and times. So let's flip it or tip it over. We change it to a times and we flip that. That's six. Bring that to the top. And my HCF there is x into x minus nine. Now that's a difference of two squares. So x squared into x minus nine, x plus nine over two x. Multiplied by 6 over. Now because we're multiplying, we can cross cancel. X minus 9. X minus 9. X times X is X squared and the X squared on the top will cancel out. 2 will go into 2 once. 2 will go into 6 three times. Now, when you cannot do anything anymore, now you do numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, 3 times x plus 9 is 3 times x plus 9. Over 1 times 1. There's nothing else here. So, it still remains 3 into x plus 9. And that's your final answer. You can't simplify that any further.
Okay. Now we're doing, I'm going to do about three or four problems with regard to addition and subtraction. We're done with multiplication and division. Onliners, are you following? Right, let's go. Guys, you have to be paying attention. I cannot be repeating the question. You can see it says simplify. So let's go. We factorize and we cancel. All we did is we factorized and we cancel. Guys, if you need more explanation to this, you need to re-watch this on YouTube, on the OCAF website, link. It's being recorded. Let's go. Right, check this one out. Simplify. x plus 2 over 2 minus x over x plus 2 plus 2x squared minus x cubed over 2x squared minus 8 for 5 marks. Simplify. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's all do it together. Put your pens down. The first thing you have to do is factorize the denominator. The denominators. That's step number one. Step number two, you've got to find the LCD. Step number three, you've got to collect your like terms on the top. So now, x plus 2 over 2 minus x over x plus 2 plus... I'm not going to take out the highest common factor here for now. I said factorize the denominators. I didn't say factorize the numerator. Hey, but you know what? Maybe something here can cancel. So wait, let me see. Let's factorize here also. What's common here? X, ne? Or X squared. Into 2 minus X. All over. If I took out 2 as my highest common factor here. X squared minus 4 x squared minus 4, because if I take out 2 from here, I'm left with 4, is x minus 2, x plus 2. Now wait, watch here. Something's happening here. Something's happening here. So wait, x plus 2 over 2, minus x over x plus 2. I'm swapping it over. Minus x squared into x minus 2 all over 2 into x minus 2 into x plus 2. Guys, you have to be following. You have to be following. x minus 2, x minus 2 cancels out. What's my LCD? LCD is 2, x plus 2, there's a 2, I got a 2. There's a x plus 2, I got a x plus 2. Right. Whew, let's go. The problem is far from done. 2 and 2 will cancel. We left with x plus 2. x plus 2 times x plus 2 is x plus 2 squared. Minus x plus 2, x plus 2 cancels. I'm left with 2. 2 times x is 2x. Minus 2 and 2 will cancel. x plus 2, x plus 2 will cancel. I'm only left with. I'm not yet done. I need to remove the brackets and collect my like terms. I'm squaring a binomial. x squared plus 4x plus 4. Minus 2x 
minus x squared over 2 into x plus 2. I'm moving over to the side. x squared minus x squared is gone. 4x minus 2x is 2x plus 4 over 2 into x plus 2. Aha! We're not yet done. We can still factorize that even further. Oh my lord. This problem doesn't want to end. Shh. Yes. Okay, watch. I'm just going to do the answer here in blue on the top. We're going to take out 2. We left with x plus 2 over woo, 2 over x plus 2. That and that cancels. Your answer is 1. Yeah, ne. This problem didn't want to end. <laughs> In fact, let's do this. I'm going to just take this out for you. Brilliant problem. Like a challenge for us. Great tens, I hope you're still online. I hope you are paying attention. I'm going to factorize that again. I get 2 into x plus 2. I'm doing it here on the side because of space. Over 2 into x plus 2. Now that and that. Any number upon itself, your final answer is 1. Your final answer is one. Right. I know you've taken this question down. I'm. Those of you who have taken it down already, I want you to start with the next one already. Interesting. Four marks. Four marks. Four marks. <laughs> the next one I'm going to give you is a killer. It's just, I want you people just to use your normal rules of algebra to do the next one. You're going to enjoy it. In fact, let me put them both down for you. There's your first one. Quiet. I want you to do that one. That's question number one. Question number two. I want you to simplify. X over one minus X over Y. Divided by X. Right, mark allocation. Mark allocation. Five marks there. Five marks here. Ten marks on two questions. Let's see how sharp are you. We then done with this. We then going to go into equation. I know you guys did inequalities also. I'll do inequalities and number lines for you also. I'll, we'll try and do as much as we can. Remember, this is full June exam prep. So I want to leave no stone unturned for you. Uh, 
Ah, let's see who's done with the first one. Yeah, ne, let's do the first one. Let's do it here. So three over x is my highest common factor into one minus x plus two x plus three over. We have to factorize that, and that's going to be x x two one minus minus. Now we need to change this one over. So this becomes minus 3 over x into x minus 1. I took out the negative and I changed both the signs over 2x plus 3. Quiet. Now we add in fractions. LCD. My Lord. Right. So that is equal to. That is equal to. That is equal to. My common denominator is x. X minus 1. X minus 2. X. X. X minus 1. X minus 1. X minus 2. Right. Let's do it together. Put your pens down. Let's do it together. X. X minus 1. Got X minus 2. I'm left over times minus 3. Minus 3 into X minus 2. Plus x minus 2, x minus 1 will go. I'm left with x. x times that is x into 2x plus 3. Now let's remove the brackets and collect the like terms. Distribute. Distribute. Shh. Minus 3x plus 6 plus 2x squared plus 3x all over x x minus 1 x minus 2 i'm moving over to the side because i don't have space 2x squared there we go i'm done with that minus 3x plus 3x gone so i'm only left with plus 6 into x x minus 1 x minus 2 now we can pull out the highest common factor there, which is 2. X squared plus 3. There's nothing you can do there over X. X minus 1. X minus 2. That's your final answer. You can't simplify that any further. You cannot simplify that any further. Now crack that last one, guys. Crack that last one. That last one is a challenge. I'll show you a nice way of doing that last one. How are we doing there, onlineers? Yes. One o'clock, 15 minutes. The onliners are flatlining the counter. We're going for break in 15 minutes. Before they flatline. Before we flatline. Guillotine, you have to go over this over and over and over and over again. Let's look at that last one. Yes, these are your level, high level. I cannot only be doing the easy stuff. Right, watch how we do the last one. I'm just rewriting the last one here on the top. Okay, so what do we have? X over 1 minus X over Y all over X. Right, let me show you how to do this one. How many of you have done it? How many of you have finished with it? Ladies, how far are you? Oh, 
Okay, watch how we do it. Question, answer. Simplify. Right. Watch here. Put down your pens. How would you read this in English? Wouldn't you say X divided by that divided by that? Yes or no? So let's do it together. Watch. X is X over 1 divided by brackets 1 minus X over Y divided by x over 1. Yes or no? Right. Now let's do it item for item. Shh. Pay attention. So watch here. x over 1 will remain x over 1 divided by that's 1 over 1, right? My LCD in the bracket is 1. Y. 1 into y, y times y times 1 is y. Minus y goes into y once. Any number goes into itself once. 1 times x is x. Divided by tip and times 1 over x. x over 1. Tip and times now. Multiplied by y over y minus x times 1 over x. Yes or no? X and X cancels out. What am I left with? Y over. And that's your final answer. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Before we do equations. Before we do equations, we got about 10 minutes left. Let's do inequalities. Let me show you how to do inequalities quickly. You get two types of inequalities, the single or the double, right? Guys, there's so much to do. I want to try and finish everything up by today. We're going to do, we'll start with functions after the next break. But I still got exponents and exponential equations to do. Right, so watch here. That's why I want to do uh, inequalities now. Guys, pay attention. You know any number arrow pointing to the right. Greater than or greater than or equal to. That's greater than. When the arrow points to the left is less than or less than or equal to. So just think, less, the arrow must point to the left. When the arrow is pointing to the left, it's less than zero or less than a number. Right. We get two types of inequalities, guys. We get the single inequality and double. Let me show you. Let me show you. Right, so inequalities, inequalities, in your exam, you get the single inequality and you get the double inequality. Right, what does a single inequality look like? 2x minus 3 over 4 greater than or equal to 10. There's it, single inequality. Double inequality will look like this x plus 2 over 3, less than or equal to 100, but greater than 20. Double inequality, single inequality. The question in the exam will say solve for x. What will the question in the exam say? Now, we will treat it like an equation. Only thing when we divide by a negative, your inequality swaps over. Let me show you. So let's call this component A. Let's call this component B. We're going to do both. You won't get both in your exam, guys. You will only get one. What did I say? 
You won't get both. How many will you get? Good. Pay attention. Let's do component A. Let's do the single inequality first. Then we do the double. Then we go for break. Deal? Deal. Relax, guys. What we don't finish today by 3 o'clock, I don't want to keep you till late. Whatever we don't finish today, we'll start off first thing tomorrow morning. No problem. I got two days with you. I got two days with you. So let's go. But by the time we leave tomorrow, I would have finished everything with you. Let's go. Pay attention. Solve for X. 4 into X minus 2 greater than or equal to 10 into X plus 5. Question, answer. Let's do it together. Solve for X. So we multiply out 4 times X is 1. 4X minus 4 times 2 is 10 times X is Plus 10 times 5 is? Right. Now collect your like terms on one side. So 4x minus 10x is greater than or equal to. So that goes on that side. The 50 stays here. Minus 8. Minus 8 comes on this side as? What is 4x minus 10x? Minus 6x. Greater than or equal to 50 plus 8 is how much? Right, now be careful. Be careful. We're dividing by minus 6. What I do on the left, I do on the... That and that will cancel. X. Because we're dividing by a negative, that inequality changes over. So greater than or equal to will flip over to less than or equal to because we're dividing by a negative. So when you divide by a negative, the inequality changes over. Now, 2 goes into here how many times? 2 goes into 58. So positive divided by negative is negative. 2 goes into there 29 times. 2 goes into there 3 times. Now, there we go. Now, there we go. Now, they're going to say represent your answer on a number line. So all you do, put a number line. You put the number minus 29 over 3. There's an equal to sign, so you put a full circle. And the arrow is pointing to the left. So it's any x value going right up to negative infinity. And there we go, there's your final answer. There's your final answer. That's your single inequality. Let's give you one to do in a single inequality, then we do double inequality, then you go for break. Right. Question number two. Solve for X. Two X plus one over three. is less than 5x plus 2 over 4. Right, for 5 marks. And so solve for x and represent your answer on a number line. I want the answer on a number line as well. So those of you who have done this one, you can do the next one. Right, last one before we do the double inequality. You are loving the double inequality. We're only going to do two examples. If you can do this and you can do that, you can do them all. All right, we're moving quiet. So what have we done today? Yo, we've done a lot of work. Question. Many of you, many of you got more work that you wrote today than what you got in your school maths notebooks. In the exam, will they ask to draw? Yes. Only if they ask you 
to draw a lasedi. Uh, only if they ask you to represent the answer on the number line will you do it. Otherwise, you just solve for X. Okay. Let's do this one. Let's do it together, guys. Danko. We're almost there. We're almost there. Work with me. Work with me. Right. Question. Answer. Shh. You can cross multiply. Watch here. Cross multiply. So 4 into 2x plus 1 is less than 3 into 5x plus 2. So you can cross multiply to get rid of your denominators. Right. Pay attention. Now we got it in a straight line. Now we solve for x. 4 times 2x is how much? 8x plus 4 less than 3 times 5 is 15x plus 6. Like terms on the same side. 8x minus 15x less than 6. Plus 4 goes there minus 4. 8 minus 15 minus 7x less than 4 minus 2 is 2. Again, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> We're dividing by minus 7. Divide by minus 7. X. Because we're dividing by a negative. Greater than. Positive divided by negative is a negative 2 over 7. Represent it on the number line. There's your number line. Minus 2 over 7 is there. Greater than open circle. Not a full circle. Full circle means that that number is equal to. Open circle. The arrow is pointing to the right. To positive it. Got it right, ladies? Well done. Well done. Well done. Right. We're now on to the last one before break, guys. We're on to the last one. How's our onlineers doing there, Hassanain? Right. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Gracie. Thank you, Gracie. We're now doing the double inequality. We're getting such positive feedback from everybody across the country. Lovely to meet you all. Lovely to see you all. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are learning and enjoying mathematics. For those of you who are just getting bitten by the math bug, well done, well done. Let it bite. Let it eat you up. Let it vampirize you. Right, here goes the double inequality. The double. Check this one out. Solve for x and represent on a number line, right? Come on, clear the frame. What's going on here? Ah, we got a bit of a lag here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Solve for x. Solve for x and represent the answer on a number line. Watch here. Shh. 2x plus 1 over 3, quiet, less than or equal to 30, but greater than minus 4. Aha, 5 marks. Beautiful. Beautiful. If I was setting your exam, that's the one I would have given you. Bruh. <laughs> right, don't write. I'm doing this one. I'm doing one. Listen, I'm doing one. We're only doing two before break. I do the one, you do the one, the next one. All right? Deal? Pay attention. Shh. Watch. Check. Check. The first thing we want to do is get rid of the 3. We want to get to x. Get rid of the 3. So I times z by 3. I times z by 3. I times z by 3. Let's do it together. Put down. Uh -uh, don't write. Don't write. Do not write. I don't want to see any pens in your hand. You follow. You follow. I will tell you when to write. Pens down. Watch. 
Three, three goals. Watch here. Let's go. Let's do it together. Do it with your eyes, not with your pen. Do it with your brain. Your pen is the last part of understanding. If you don't know what you're doing, what the hell are you writing? Minus four times three, minus 12. Do it with me, follow, don't write, pens down. Less than two X plus one, less than or equal to 30 times three. Wait, we're not done. We need to get to X, let's take the one, let's get rid of the one. Let's get rid of the one. Take the one over on both sides. The sign changes. The sign changes. Watch. Minus 12, minus one. I'm getting rid of the one. Less than 2x. Less than or equal to 90 minus one. Pay attention, still don't write. Minus 12, minus one. Less than two times x is Less than or equal to 90 minus 1 is how much? I want to get to x. Divide by how much? What I do to 1, I do to that 1, I do to that 1. So minus 13 over 2. And how do we read this? How do we read it? We first read to the right, then to the left. x is less than or equal to 89 over 2, but greater than minus 13 over 2. There's your answer. There's your answer. Let's put it on a number line. Let's put it on a number line. Lower number first, minus 13 over 2. Higher number second, 89 over 2. There's an equal to sign, so I put a full circle. There's no equal to sign, so I put an open. X lies between the two points. So I highlight it. Now you can write. Now you can write. Now you can write. Right, take it down, take it down, take it down. And then I'm going to erase the question and I'm going to give you one to do on your own like this. Okay, so if they had to ask you here, and X is an element of integers, then what, so you know that this is minus 13 over 2 is minus 6 and a half, am I right? What is 89 over 2 as a decimal? Work it out. 44,5. Right. Now be careful. Right. Now if they told you X is an element of integers, that means X can be only the numbers between year and year and X is an element of integers. So basically, so you're going to do that. You're going to do that. It's greater than this. So your first integer greater than this is minus 6. So it will be including minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, all the minus 3. Okay, it won't be, they won't give you such big numbers, right? But you know what to do. You keep on putting all the points. Now, your first integer less than 44,5. Is going to be 44. So obviously you'll highlight all these integers, but you won't you won't put a straight line through it. Straight line means it will include decimals, it will include fractions. So you don't want to do that. You only want the integers. Okay, here goes. For those of you who have taken this one, the last one before break. Break's coming up. Break's coming up. Let's do the last one. If you shop, let's see who's a boss. You get the next one right. You get the next. 
The first one here to get the next one right gets 50 bucks. 50 bucks. But you have to get it right. So let's see how sharp are you. Minus 2 into x minus 3 over 5. Less than 100, but greater than or equal to. Fifty. Solve for x and represent on a number line. The first one to get it right gets fifty bucks. Not the first one to complete it. The first one to get it right. Mr. Kauter. Yeah, but yes. Something's burning. Brains are burning. I'm telling you, I'm <laughs> telling you, they are burning, they are on fire, they are buffering, their brains are buffering. Come. Dala, Baba, Dala. <laughs> Burn toast. 50 bucks. Yo, we got a hand up. We got a hand up. I think that comes from Alpha. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come to the stage. Come. Come, Baba. Come. Let's check your answer. Is 50 bucks going to this bra? What's your name? Come up here and tell us your name, bro. Your claim to fame. Hey, mashallah. Hey, walla, boy. Yalla, yalla, habibi. Yalla, yalla. Yalla. Mashallah. And 500 minus 2x plus 6. 500, 494. 494. Yes, that's a 494, 250 minus 244. <laughs> <laughs> so close, so close, so close, come on. Hey, somebody beat him quickly before he does his correction here. He made one syllable. Hey, think I don't have a pen here. No, no, that pen works on here. Right, you better fix it before somebody, come here, come stand here next to me. Fix your mistake. You know where you went wrong. Dala, Baba, Dala. Hey, somebody beat him. Let's see. Hey, here's somebody beating you. Huh? Did you change your inequality? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, competition. It's let. It's let. It's let. Hey, it's happening, guys. <laughs> What? Both of them made the same mistake? They all made the same mistake. They all made the same mistake. Hey, there's still a chance here. Something you don't see, all four of you, in your final answer. Oh, I'm not giving you the answer, my God. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Same mistake. All stand in a line. Stand in a line. Same mistake. Look at them. The whole lot. Same mistake. Same mistake. Save the state! Save the state! Save the state! She gets it right! She gets it right! Say hello to everybody there! 
Wait for everybody. Wait. Let's wait here. Wait. She gets 50 bucks, guys. She gets What's her name? Bucks. What's, What's the learner's name? Hello, hello, hello. What's your name? From which school? Oh, oh. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, now you're going to kick yourselves. Now you're going to kick yourself. Listen, listen. 15 of you came on stage. You all made the same mistake at the end. Didn't you see you divided by a negative? Weren't you supposed to change your inequality over? Must I hit you with a hammer on your head? Let's go. Multiply by five, multiply by five. So 250 times five, uh, 50 times five, 250, less than or equal to minus two X plus six, less than 100 times five is 500. Take the six over. 250 minus 6 is 244, less than or equal to minus 2x, less than 500 minus 6 is 494. You all did it right. You, you divided by minus 2. You divided by minus 2. You divided by minus 2. That and that came out. The thing that you all, 15 of you did, because you divided by a negative, you didn't change that over. So 494 divided by 2, she was the only one. That's how she got it right. She beat you guys in that last step. She beat you in that last step where 15 of you forgot to divide by negative and change it over. Woo! What's her name? Fire. 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 That's minus, right? And that's minus 244 divided by 2. 122. Right. So X is greater than that. So your lower number, minus 247. Your higher number, minus 122. 247, open circle. 122, close circle. X lies all these numbers between the... Khalas, take you. Take you. Right. Guys, it's called a pass one. I'll see you guys back here at two o'clock. Two o'clock, two o'clock, two o'clock. Enjoy your break. Thank you so much, Mr. Kota. I think well you can done, just assist well us. Done, well done. We're going to be speaking to uh, Mr. Abdullah Suji. He's the deputy principal of Al Falah School. Mr. Kota, can you get him on the on the line at the, uh, now? You got an interview on you now. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Okay, yes. Behind my head here. And there we go. You want to bring that closer also? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Mr. Kota, we'll we'll take it from there. Um, Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Suji. I believe you are the deputy principal of um, Alphala College. Um, tell me, how is things going at the Alphala College with the grade 10 workshop? Um, just get a scenario of how the learners are feeling and, and the, uh, the level of engagement during the workshop. Bismillah. Hello. Okay, Mr. Suji, can you hear me? Okay, tell me how is it going with the grade 10 maths workshop at the Alphala College? Tell me, uh, tell us a little bit more about the schools that are present and the atmosphere at the workshop. Firstly, it's exciting. 
Tell me a little bit more about the coaches' learning methods and how is that inspiring you? Well, the fact that it is hands-on and the fact that it is based on many mnemonics that uh, I introduced to the learners that they begin to fix themselves to understand certain uh, equations and solutions with the, uh, with the mnemonics, you see, like FOIL and others. And that is actually paying due diligence because they begin to understand that we can look at maths through the lens of literature or the lens of uh, some other form of learning. And maths is actually fun. The other point is that the fact that you can teach maths in a fun way, the fact that you can teach maths with excitement and you don't have to be worrying about it. You know, show the learners that you can enjoy your learning of mathematics. The fundamental takeaway for me, however, is the fact that this type of learning demystifies mathematics. It actually makes the child feel that it's not a difficult subject that you are going to think it is. You know, yes, it has a technicality different from other subjects, but it can really, really be understood uh, when you apply your mind to it, especially. No, oh, fantastic. Yeah. Is known for hosting the Grade 12 workshop, and this is in fact the first year that we are hosting the Grade 10 workshop. Just tell us a little bit more about starting learners with this kind of math support in Grade 10 as we build up and lay the foundation for the Grade 12 um, sort of their success. It's a good question. You know, Edwin Burke mentioned that good foundation is the order of all things. So, having to lay the foundation in grade 10 with such solid understanding will improve the understanding of mathematics as the grade 10 year carries on and it will be refined in the grade 12 year, so to speak, because the foundation has been solid. So, basically, in grade 12, you just putting a roof on, you know. To use that image. Having said that, it's still too late. It's still too late. We need to have this kind of intervention from as early as foundation phase. So you demystify maths from that age, and given the numeracy and literacy ratings of literature and reading, which is very poor, as you do know, having to introduce this type of learning experience from lower on, or the lower your school year. By the time the child comes into foundation phase and into intermediate phase, maths will be secondary to their learning like a language. You know, once maths becomes a language, and maybe maths is a language, the children will begin to understand mathematics much more easily. Because what I saw in the beginning was that, you know, the phonetics of language, the, vo the vocal sounds of language, Mathematics has the same strain, except that it comes to the, uh, the algebra, which is obviously is the foundation to geometry, trigonometry, and the rest. So um, I would urge, I would urge that this type of foundation of learning begin even earlier. Thank, thank you for the question. No, fantastic. So we should start in grade one and in primary school. I think that point is taken there. I think we've got our work cut out for us. So just final question, that we look at the, the job market needs um, career professionals that is proficient in STEM principles, namely science, uh, maths, and engineering. Tell me a little bit more about the efforts that our college is doing and a little bit more about how this maths workshop is contributing towards supporting and grooming our 
great way of learners to be um, resilient and prepared for the demands of the 21st century and the career demands of the 21st century. It is difficult to give a statistic to that question, but I'll say the following. That at Al Fala College, because we try to keep a pure math stream right up to grade 12 and allow a learner to do pure maths up until grade 11. And the very few learners who struggle with mathematics, we then put them in a math literacy subject, you know. In that way, they are drawn into the practical understanding of mathematics, that you are not given a choice, so to speak. Learn this language, learn it, and once you learn it with the technological approach, the innovative approach, you are bound to improve. So we don't have a magic potion, so to speak. It's just hard work. It is applying your mind to what you are taught in a classroom setting and then going home and doing the ABC, you know. ABC is applying backside and chain, so to speak, you know. Because you need to sit down, you need to spend time. Then when you give time for, will pay back dividend. That's the ROI, the return on investment. So having to sit and apply your money to return on investment is you're going to get better results. Therefore, this type of workshop, when the child goes home now and sits with his or her work, and those sums that they could not get right and redo it and work on past examination question papers, what happens? The return on investment is almost immediate. You come back to school with a sharper understanding of the concept. And uh, Dr. Singh, our, our math teacher as well, will tell you, and he's very experienced, that the child does not master the basics and does not understand the basics, you're not going to get it right. So therefore, Dr. Singh will take a lot of time to put this entire program together because he's passionate about the subject. Which brings me to the last point. Teachers in schools must be passionate about the subject. They must be passionate about approaching the subject because learners make mistakes. Know, and in mathematics, they make more So, it's how you develop them and make them understand that your mistake is actually an indication of where you don't understand, not where you went wrong. Like the last sum, you know, that they had to work out. It was the understanding of where you went wrong. And it was just an application, it was a formula. So, thank you very much for the interview and really well done, well done on this wonderful initiative. By the club and partnering today, today with the Salah Committee of the was fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Blasu, who is the Deputy Principal of Afala College. Um, and, and Mr. Suchi, thank you so much for your inputs. Um, this session is attended by lots of educators who are beaming the session to the class of, of learners. So, this workshop also aims to inspire educators with some of the relevant and problem-solving approaches to teaching mathematics. Let us know if Mr. King or another academic staff member is um, on hand just to give us uh, an input of, of what is uh, taking place here at Alphala College today. Okay, uh, Ali, yes, we have Dr. Singh. Uh, we'll come on now. He can listen to you, sure. Thank you so much. So now we're going to be speaking to Dr. Singh, and he's going to be telling us a little bit more about the excitement, the energy, the collaboration with Mr. Kota um, that is taking place at the Alphala College. There's about 400 learners that's part of the code at Alphala College in Durban. And we've got a huge audience online that's tuned into the session via OCAV's YouTube and Facebook page. Dr. Singh, good day. Uh, let us know how things are going at the session today with grade 12 maths with Mr. Kota. What have you observed today? Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Singh, firstly, for organizing such a good workshop. Because you see what we find fascinating, there's 350 learners that attended today. 
And the fascinating part here, you find that students who are taken from the uh, previously disadvantaged areas, they are starving for this kind of knowledge, right? whereby basic concepts are not taught in schools. So I think looking at the shine in the eyes when the stuff that is being taught today, they understand the basic concept, they are able to go back and apply this knowledge to problem solving itself. And uh, as you know, in our trick uh, intervention program last year, we had some very good reviews that learners actually gained a lot and allowed them to actually pass the final metric exam. So I think the same is going to happen in this cohort. You started it at a very good grade, whereby we can track the performance from grade 10 right up to grade 12. And uh, listening to Mr. Kota take them through their paces with this very, very simple to the more difficult, I think that's the strategy that most educators should apply. That is, you don't put the learner in the deep end, Rather take them from the very simple and then lead them to the more difficult. And that's what I admire about the Sakota's methods. Sure. sure. I really like that point of yours. Uh, we have to really prepare our learners for maybe uh, all scenarios of the exam day. And so I think, you know, because the session is, is based on past examination workshops, and uh, I've seen that Mr. Kota is really taking the learners to the paces, like to the maximum. Dr. Singh, I, I actually want to pick your brain here. But the reality is that schools that are or, or learners from a middle income uh, bracket and up, they can afford tuition and attend school that has the best facilities to assist them with their maths tuition and, and classes. But what about schools in grassroots communities, in working class communities? And I've seen over the years, uh, Ophala uh, as an institution has been instrumental in bridging that divide, that growing uh, perhaps a class divide between the working class and the middle income brackets. And Ophala has always played host schools from um, um, schools perhaps in, in working class communities. Please add your voice to this uh, point. Yeah, uh, I mean, the unfortunate part is that, uh, you know, you say the middle class is more the upper class, than most of the parents are in this particular region. And uh, when such a good uh, intervention program is being organized, you find that uh, parents would rather send their children to pay extra money for tuition rather than, you know, get the full benefit of bringing a tutor right here in house and getting paid. Basics being taught here. So I think, uh, in a way, uh, what we are doing is more an outreach program where we're helping the underprivileged to gain some kind of advantage right, by providing this kind of tuition. And uh, your question again about the middle to middle class, uh, they are, I didn't just quite get it because I'm getting a sound in my ear. What was it? Again? I think it was comment on Oakcraft's role. Uh, I mean, uh, Alphala has been played host to a lot of these match programs that has learners from working class communities. Just talk about Alphala's contribution towards assisting and, and having this outreach program to assist learners from working class um, schools. Yeah, as you said, these are one of the programs that we encourage our learners to participate in. And the others are obviously we have uh, weekend classes. And on a Friday as well, we finish at 2 o'clock. We have extra classes that uh, learners from grade 11 and grade 12 participate in. And on a Saturday, we have three sessions of one and a half hour duration, whereby we provide extra tuition by our own teachers to give them the education. So thank you to you, uh, Mr. Singh, um, for your time. I would really like to check in with you tomorrow if you are available. And thank you for your involvement and your school, uh, as well as Mr. Bilasuji's involvement and um, motivation and, and all the best for the learners uh, who are involved with the Great Team Workshop. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. So there we go. We were speaking to some of the educators involved uh, with the Alphala College. 
So you are tuned in to the grade 10 maths workshop. We are doing maths paper one. It is the break at the moment. We will be resuming shortly. Um, there's always lots of questions around the videos of these sessions. Uh, the session is hosted uh, via OCAV's YouTube and Facebook platform. The video will always remain on OCAV's YouTube platform. And I'm going to take you through some of the steps on how to access OCAV's YouTube page. But we'll start off uh, having a look at OCAV's website. And I'll show you the event page that houses all of the videos of our workshop. So there we go. This is the OCAF website. OCAF is spelled A W Q A F S A dot org dot zere. This is the OCAF uh, website, the landing page. What you can do is uh, this uh, these are the hyperlinks to our social media platforms. This is a very important one. This is the YouTube um, uh, platform. This is where uh, lots of the session, the videos are available. What you can do on the landing page, there is a click through to the OCAF SA a Maths Workshop event page. Click on the register now button. It will take you through to the event page and uh, it will take you to the videos of the grade, grade 10 workshop. We, we have also hosted grade 11 and grade 12 uh, workshops over two days. We've done Maths Paper 1 and Maths Paper 2. So as you'll see, lots of the videos um, of the past sessions are on the OCAF um, uh, event page. So you'll see, you just click on the red button and that will play the session. And this will take you through to the YouTube page. So that's the grade 11. This is grade 12. And this is grade 10. So if you click on the button over there, this will take you through to the workshop and this will show you that we are currently live. So you're looking at yourself. And then this is the video for tomorrow. So this is all the information that you do um, need. This is the event page. Let me take you back to the home page and I'll show you what happens when you click through on the social media icons. So that's the landing page. If you do click on the YouTube icon, if you click on it, this will take you to the YouTube page. It's very important to subscribe to the page and we'll show you how to do that now. So the page ought to be loading. That's it. Okay, let's get that YouTube page up now. And let's share that screen with you. So we'll show you a the landing page of our YouTube page and where to access the videos. So there we go. This will be coming up on the screen right now. So this is OCAF's YouTube um, channel. You can, if you search for OCAF South Africa, you see we currently have about about 4,000 subscribers. You can subscribe. You can um, turn on the bell icon so you won't miss out on anything. So if you navigate to the live live tab, so we're currently live on Maths Paper 1. Tomorrow we'll do Maths Paper 2. And these are videos of some of our past sessions. So you can subscribe and tune into OCAF's YouTube page. So there we go. We will resume shortly. We're currently on our break. And we'll speak to you on the other side when we do resume. Thank you.
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now the first thing we're going to do, obviously when we start, are you ready to rumble, Mr. Kauta? We, we need to award the 50 rand over pot. Where is over pot? Over the pot. Over the pot. Over the pot. Here we go. Everybody's coming in. Everybody's coming in. Well done. So before we get started, here's our friend, come and stand right here next to me, the girl from Overboard, she's a boss, this one is a boss, we are awarding her 50 rand, she was the only one in case it is, I, and I'm going to make it 70 rand, and I'm going to make it 80 rand. I don't have a 20 run, otherwise I'll make it 100 run. There's another 20 run coming. Just bring it, bring it. Well done. Tell me. 100 run, 50 run, 20 run, 20 run, 10 run. Mr. Kota, what's the learner's name? Thank you very much. You are boss. What? Well done. What's the learner's name, Mr. Kauter? I'll send you the name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I say, well done, well done, well done. Absolutely amazing. The feeling in here is electric as a name. And I think these learners would die to see the two of you, the two of us, you and I, dala this thing live at a live workshop at the end of the year. One day, Guys, how one many day. of you would like to see myself and as a name end of the year on one stage, doing the whole of the match to prepare you for your final? Let's see. Give us a nice round of applause. Let's check. Well done, well done. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to everybody. Thank you so much. Yeah, electric atmosphere in this beautiful KZN weather. We love you guys to birds and we want to see you guys all excel in mathematics. We want you to love Kway, love Okaf and love math. Uh, love your teachers, love your school, love the subject. And yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, thanks, Sophia. Thanks, Sophia. Thanks for all the positive uh, comments that are coming in from across the country. Nabil Yusuf, thanks, sir. We got Steve, we got Lesedi, we got Sophia, we got Tiona. Um, yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Guys, settle down. Um, I know we got exponents and stuff to do. We carry that over into tomorrow morning. Let's start for the moment of truth. Let's start with functions. Right. What are the graphs that you need to know? Number one, you need to know the straight line. Now, you know, listen, we are back in session. Break is over. Let's go. The straight line is given by y equals mx plus c or ax plus q. The parabola for grade 10 is only the difference of two squares. y equals ax squared plus q. Difference of two squares, like y equals x squared minus 25. There's an example. Right. Number three, you need to do the hyperbola. And the hyperbola is given by y equals a over x. And then you've got exponential. 
and exponential y equals a to the power x. x is in the power. Right. For all the graphs, you need to know how to sketch. You need to know how to find equations. Take this down. You need to know how to give the domain. Domain is x values. You need to know how to give the range, the y values. You, know, you need to know how to shift the graphs. Up, down, left, right. Now sketching, finding equations, that's how you find coordinates. You need to find coordinates or determine lengths of the line, distance, or length of lines. And that's all part of sketching and finding equations for each of these graphs. Great and settle down, let's go. This is your overview of functions. Now, let's start with each one, guys. I, it's 10 past 2. Before you know it, it's time to go home. The day is almost over. Guys, I know you guys think this is a long day. It's not. I promise you it's not. There's so much we still need to do. But I need to make sure that you guys are fully prepared. So work with me. Follow our systems. You'll get your distinction in math. Okay. And like I said, you guys can read. The session is recorded. For those of you who have just joined us online, the sessions will be recorded on OCAF on YouTube. So you can re-watch these sessions over and over and over until you master every concept. All right, you've taken this down. Onlineers, let's see how we're doing there. Yes, Zainab, you love maths because you understand it. And that's the purpose of today, to make you understand, to put it in the picture. And you have a passion, you have a drive for mathematics, like how we love maths. Guys, I've been doing maths for over 25 years. 25 to 30 years, every day of my life. And I love it as if it's the first day I'm doing it. Let's go. Right, I'm clearing the frame. Let's start with a straight line. Take it down quickly, take it down quickly. We don't have much time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's check our onlineers, how they doing? Amin Nabil Yusuf, thanks for te teaching us. Alhamdulillah, we really appreciate Amin, Amin, Amin. We hear, uh, I will die doing what I do. We love you to bits. We want you to be the very best. And trust me, if we didn't have load shedding in South Africa, we would be the number one country in the world. We've got the most beautiful country. We've got the most beautiful people. It's up to you to make a difference. It's up to us to make a difference. We will do this till the day we die. We never say die. Every time your brain says shut down, you need to say shut up. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think you're all ready. Let's go. Right. With a straight line. Very simple. You need to know how to sketch. So let's start with a straight line. Now, f of x, the function, the y value, is equal to 2x plus 4. Now, they ask you to sketch. Now, this is easy. Question. Answer. We need intercepts. So, we use what we call the dual intercept, the two intercept method. So, what do we say? We say let x equal to 0. So that means y equals 2 into 0 plus 4. y equals 0 plus 4. 
y is equal to 4. So when x is 0, y is 4. Now we say let y equal to 0. I think you're all following. This was taught to you in grade 9. Shh, let's do it. We don't use the table method here. Quiet. Now we say 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. Let's solve for x. Equation 2x is equal to minus 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2. X is equal to minus 2. So when y is 0, x is minus 2. We go to our graph. Minus 2. Minus 1, minus 2, and 0. 0 and 4. 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4. And there we go. We then draw our graph going through those two points. And we call it graph F. Done. You must show your calculations. So it's very simple to sketch. Let x equal to 0, solve for y. Let y equal to 0, solve for x. Finish. I don't need to do 50 examples. You all know how to do it. But now I'm going to show you a shortcut to find the equation of a graph. Very important. Watch here. Pay attention. I'm showing you a shortcut. I'm showing you a hack. Do you know if you know your work, you can finish your two-hour paper in one hour. You, you can do the same paper twice in your exam. You must just be smart. Some people work smart and some people work hard. Choose the smart. What we always say, as a name, be wise, don't be otherwise. Aish. Let's go. Watch here, watch here, watch here. Right, now we're going to find the equation. So say they gave you a straight line. Watch here. They told you that that point is 10. They told you this point here is 5. They told you this graph is f. They tell you f of x is equal to ax plus q. Find a, find q. So ax plus q, mx plus c is the same thing. Basically, what are they asking you for? The equation, the gradient and the y-intercept. Come, I show you a shortcut. It's only worth two marks in the exam. Question, answer. I'm showing you a shortcut, so put your pens down. Watch here. We're going to go f of x is equal to mx, mx or ax, plus q. q is your y-intercept. So what's my y-intercept? Good. What am I only short of now? You know how you get a. Watch this. I'm showing you a shortcut to get that. You can get your answer in one step. Watch here. Put your pens down. A. Change the sign of y over keep the sign of x. Watch here. A equals. Y is 10. Y is 10. Change the sign. Keep the sign of x. What negative divided by positive is? 10 divided by 5 is? There's your final answer in one step. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. There's a shortcut. There's a shortcut for you. There's it. Change the sign of Y over keep the sign of X. So let's see you do this one. Do the next one. Right. Now, if you can simplify it, you simplify it. If you can't simplify it, you just leave it. So if I tell you that is minus 3, and I tell you that is minus 5, and this is h, give me the equation of h. h of x is equal to whatever. Come. Give me the equation of h. Follow what I just taught you. Follow the shortcut. Right. Let's go. How much? Yeah, you like money. Right. H of X is equal to AX plus Q. What's your Q value? Your Y intercept minus 3. 
I'm short of my A value. You can do this in pencil on the side. M, your gradient or your A value. Change the sign of Y. Change the sign of Y over keep the sign of X. Positive divided by negative is negative. 3 over 5, we can't simplify it. We leave it like that. Minus 3 over 5, X minus 3. Boom, is your final answer. Nice, man. Beautiful. Come, I give you one last one to do. Let's call it G. Come on. This is how some learners, they get their distinction in mathematics. You think, yo, how did this person finish the three-hour, two-hour paper in one hour? They must be genius. No, they just know what to do. They know the tricks of the trade. These are tricks. Let's do it again. Come, I give you another one. Let's put another line in a different direction. Let's go in that direction. And let me tell you, that is minus eight. And let me tell you, that is two. And let me tell you, this is graph G, and that's zero. Right. Come on, give me G of X. Quickly, follow what we did in the previous two. Let's see how sharp are you. Onliners, are you loving it? Are you winning? I'm going to do the parabola with you. La I don't know. Now I'll do the parabola with you next. Come, you, you ought to be done. If you're really smart, you can do this mentally. If you're really smart, you can do this mentally. G of X is equal to MX plus C minus A. I need the M value. Change the sign of Y over keep the sign of X. 8 over 2. Did you all get that right? Give yourself a nice round of applause. Well done. Well done. Well done. There you learned the shortcut. The shortcut. The shortcut. 4x minus 8 Zayana. Well done. Well done. Well done. Ntabi saying, are you winning now? You got it. But the Alam Sheikh, I'm in. Abdul Malik, Bur music. <laughs> Bur music, lang arme bro. Is dalaing lang army. Lasedi, well done. Well done, Zayana. Well done, Nombulelo. Tabi Seng says she's understanding the work. Well done, well done, well done. Right, pay attention now. We're done with the. Let's now go on to the parabola. Watch here. F of X is equal to, watch this, watch this. X squared minus 25. Sketch the graph and label fully. Question, answer. Whenever it's squared, it's a parabola. So what do we do? The same thing that we do, that's Y. F of X is Y, it just means that the graph is called F. Pay attention. We do it exactly the same. Let x equal to 0. Let x equal to 0. So x squared minus 25. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let x equal to 0. So y is equal to 0 minus 25. So y is minus 25. So when x is 0, y is minus 25. Let y equal to 0. Same thing. x squared minus 25 equal to 0. <clears throat> Sorry. What is that? Isn't that the difference of two squares? Isn't that the difference of two squares? X minus 5. X plus 5. So X minus 5 equals to 0. Your first solution. Or X plus 5 equals to 0. Let's solve for X. X is equal to plus 5. X is equal to minus 5. Two X intercepts. Y intercept. Let's sketch the graph. There we go. There we go. Minus 25 is there. That's your y-intercept. That's 0. x is equal to plus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or x is minus 5. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. 
The A value, remember it's A x squared plus Q. The A is greater than zero, it's positive, so it's a smiling face. So here we go, it's a smiling face. That's your turning point. Whoa, let's go up. And there we go, the graph is fully sketched, that's F, that's, uh, wait, that's five and zero. That's minus five and zero. And that's zero and minus 25. That's your turning point. That's your turning point. Your turning point is on your y axis. And the equation of your, of your axis of symmetry, if they ask you, is your y axis, is your y axis, and the equation of your y axis is x equals zero. That's your turning point. Your turning point will be on your y-axis. The graph turns on your y-axis. So it's simple. It's simple. Let x equal to 0, solve for y. Let y equal to 0, solve for x. And then we sketch. That's a positive graph. Let's do a negative graph. We're sketching. We're still going to do how to find its equation. You have to know this. Functions is tested till grade 12. Everything you do in grade 10 is tested till grade 12. That's why those of them that score 100% in grade 12, they've mastered grade 10 and 11. Master this year. Solidify your foundation now. 11 and 12 will be a breeze. 11 and 12 will be a breeze. So for those of you who have taken this one down, let's do another one in terms of G. And let's do it. We do it the same way. Watch here. Watch here. So if I told you G of X is equal to minus X squared plus 9. Sketch. Right. Let's go. We're going to do it exactly the same. We're going to do it exactly the same. Let x equal to 0, solve for y. Let y equal to 0, solve for x. Question, answer. That's y equals minus x squared plus 9. Let x equal to 0. So if x is 0, there's 0. x is 0. 0 plus, so that means what is y equal to? 9. Now you're going to say let y equal to 0. So you're going to have minus x squared plus 9 equals to 0. Be careful. Stop. Put your pens down. We need to get rid of that negative. So we're going to divide everything by minus 1. So plus x squared minus 9 equals to 0 over minus 1 is still 0. Difference of 2 squares. Break that up. It will always be difference of 2 squares for grade 10 x minus 3, x plus 3, x minus 3 equals to 0, x will equal to plus 3, x plus 3 equals to 0, x will equal to minus 3. Let's go to our graph, watch, you can take this down, be careful, be careful. Right, when x is 0, y is 9, 0 and 9, there we go, 0 and 9. X is plus 3. 1, 2, 3. Or X is minus 3. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And this is negative. So it's a sad face. Negative means sad face. Positive means happy face. There we go. That's your turning point. If they ask you for the range of this graph, it's all your y values less than 9. Range is all your y values less than or equal to 9. Domain is your x values. Any x value will give you a y value on the graph. 
So you just say x is an element of real numbers. Or you can say from minus infinity to positive infinity. They'll give you a mark there. They'll give you a mark there. They'll give you three to four marks to sketch the graph. But in most cases, grade 10, you're going to get the graph and they're going to ask you to find the equation of it. That's what we're about to do now after this. So now that we know how to sketch the graph, let's find its equation. Onliners, no, Safiya, this is paper one, functions. This is functions for paper one. Paper two is all tomorrow. We haven't started anything for paper two today. Nothing for paper two today. Paper two tomorrow. So there we go. We know how to sketch the graph. What if the graph is given and you need to find the equation? Watch here. So the same thing, guys. Let me just show you how this question can be asked in the exam. This very question. They can give you this in the exam. Watch here. They give you that. They give you that. They give you this. They give you that. They tell you this is minus 3. No, no. No, 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 no. Lies. They tell you that point A is point A. They tell you that point A is point B. They tell you that point A is point anything. Point T. They tell you this is F. They tell you F of X is equal to minus X squared plus 9. Right. Find the length of AB and find the length of OT. O is the center. OT. Now it's very easy. Because you know how to sketch the graph, you know how to fill in values on the graph. So in your answer to question number one, you just need to ask yourself in your mind, what is? What is A? What is B? A is the one X intercept. B is the other X intercept. Yes or no? So how do we get X intercept? So to answer question number one, we say let Y equal to zero. So minus X squared plus nine equals to zero. X squared minus nine equals zero. X minus three x plus 3 equals to 0, x is equal to 3, or x is equal to minus 3. That means that must be 3. That means that must be minus 3. Therefore, a, b is equal to, distance can't be negative, so it's 3 plus 3. is 3 plus 3, which is equal to 6 units. And you'll get 4 marks for that. It's as easy as that. OT, OT, what is T? T is our turning point, yes or no? So it's our Y intercept. So we say let X equal to zero. So Y equals minus X squared plus nine. Let X equal to zero, so Y is equal to nine. Therefore, OT equals nine units. This is zero and nine. So OT is how many units? Nine. Finish. Was that difficult? No. I'm just showing you how the question is going to be asked in your exam. So you need to know the process of sketching to be able to give coordinates on the graph. If your answer is not in the graph, it must be in your equation. If it's not in the equation, it must be on your graph. That's the only two places it can be. It can't be in space. Now let's find the equation of a parabola. Let's do the reverse. Pay attention now. 
pay attention and i got a good feeling the next one is going to come out in your june or in your finals usually my good feeling my gut feeling i'm always right watch here watch here watch here oh are you still writing ah uh, come on ah uh, come on Let's see. Come back. Where is it? Pleasure. All right. Let's see. Whoever gets the next one right. Okay, I got no more money. I'm going to give you pin pop. You want a pin pop? Pin pop. Pin pop cherry. Uh, you don't want it me i'll eat it myself what's that you don't want you don't want you want it you don't want it all right i'll eat it myself your problem they just want money these people you want the money show me the money they don't want it they don't want the lollipop i love it They are full of nonsense. This one. This one. When they see me they see dollars. Dollars. Right, let's go. There's your question. There's your graph. F of x is equal to a x squared plus q. Find the value of a and q for six marks. Basically, what they want you to do is find the equation of the parabola. Shh. How's our onlineers doing? Onlineers. Right. So here goes, here goes, here goes, here goes, here goes. Right. We need to find its equation. Watch here. So whenever you are given two x intercepts and a point, listen. Whenever you are given two x intercepts and a point Shh. this is where you begin listen and listen carefully y equals a into x minus x1 into x minus x2 were you shown this in school some of you have some of you haven't for some of you this is the first time you've seen this so whenever you are given two x intercepts and a point listen and listen carefully put down your pens we are looking for a Shh. so what we do that's x1 that's x2 so x1 x2 that is x that is y any point any point is x and y the intercepts is x1 x2 what alphabet are we solving for? Right. Take it all down. Take it all down. Take it all down. Take it all down. Now substitute. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Have you guys done this before at school? Ntabi saying, have you guys done this at school? 
Gracie, have you done this at school? Safia, Badri Alam, Lazedi, Zainab. Let's go. Learn. Please learn. Ah, that's why you're finding it a bit of a challenge because you, you guys haven't yet done this. All right. So, you need to... So, they've given you a parabola. They've given you a parabola. You're given two x-intercepts and a point. We're looking for A. Now, watch. Let's do it together. Right. There's Y. We're substituting. We're solving for A. Guys, you need to follow. 5 equals A. What is X? 4. Minus, minus 2. Plus 2. 4 minus 2. Now let's solve for A. 5 equals A into 4 plus 2 is how much? 4 minus 2 is how much? So 5 is equal to 6 times 2 is 12 A. I want A. Divide by 12. Divide by 12. What is A equal to? 5 over 12. So we got 5 over 12. Now we go back. The problem is not done. We still need Q. So Y equals 5 over 12 into X plus 2 into X minus 2. We remove the X and Y. This is the difference of two squares. Y equals 5 over 12 into X squared minus 4. Now distribute. Here's your final answer coming up. 5 over 12 X squared. A X squared plus Q minus 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 12 three times. Remember, we're multiplying it by both. You can do it on a calculator also. 5 times minus 4 divided by 12. Your answer is 5 over 3. This is AX squared plus Q. Your Q value is minus 5 over 3. That value there, your Y-intercept, is minus 5 over 3. Where did you get it from? You got it from there. AX squared plus Q. It's worth six marks. Learn. How much time do we have? You, it's already 22. We only got 20 minutes. Right. I'm going to give you one to do like this. Just one. I'm giving you, you copy and paste. Whatever I do here, you do in the next one. Get it right. Then we do the hyperbola. Then we do the exponential that we are done for today. Now we started 15 minutes late this morning. Hassanain, can we go over 15 minutes? They are crying. They are crying, Hassanain. Right, watch. So you've taken this one down. For those of you who have taken this one down, you start with the next one. And I'm only giving you three minutes to do it. So let's go. Let's give you that. Let's give you that. I give you a graph here. That's a parabola coming down here. I tell you this is graph G. I'll give you a point here. I'll tell you this point is 2 and 10. I'll tell you that is 5, and I'll tell you that that point there is minus 5. Right. G of X, G of X is equal to AX plus Q. G of X, G of X is equal to AX squared plus Q. Find A and find Q for 6 marks. You only got 3 minutes to do it. You only have three minutes to do it, and your three minutes start now. Let's go. They can call this one anything. They can call it point A. They can call it point B. They can call this point D. 
and I can call this point E. Makes no difference. Go for it, guys. Go for it. Do exactly what I did here in the previous one. y equals a into x minus x1 into x minus x2. Right, there we go. We're solving for a. We're solving for a. Come ladies, work, 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 work. Time to work, 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 work. <laughs> Yeah, there is the time of the day when we lose our marbles. Too much. Someone's bad, having fun. Time to work, 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 work. Yeah, bruh. So that's X, that's Y. That's X1. That's X2. Let's go. 10 equals a into 2 plus 5 into 2 minus 5. 10 equals a into 5 plus 2 plus 5 is 7. 2 minus 5 is minus 3. 10 equals minus 21a. a equals minus 10 over 21. So y equals minus 10 over 21 into x plus 5 into x minus 5 y equals minus 10 over 21 this is a difference of two squares x squared minus 25 y equals minus 10 over 21 x squared negative times negative is a positive 10 times 25 is 250 over 21. And that's your final answer. AX squared plus Q. So A is equal to that. Q is equal to 250 over 21. And that's your final answer. You will get six marks for that. Okay. And there we go. There you go. We are done with finding the equation of a parabola. We got 15 minutes left. Let's do the hyperbola. Now it's easy. The hyperbola and exponential are easy if you follow what I show you. Let's do it together. The hyperbola. No, I'm only doing, I'm erasing the top, man. Don't tell me you haven't started writing the top. For those of you who have taken this one down, we got the last 15 minutes. We are now doing the hyperbola. And the standard form y equals a over x. That's your standard form. So now they want you to sketch the graph h of x is equal to 4 over x. So whenever x is in the denominator, it's a hyperbola. Right, let's do it together. Now I'm going to do it uh, slightly different to the way your teachers will show you in school. Some of them will have showed you the same way. Some of them will show you a different way. Pay attention. I'm erasing the previous one. Right, step number one, what do you do? Listen, pay attention, you'll get them all right. So we need the question in the exam. That's your question in the exam sketch. Your answer. This is where you start. All you do, draw a quick table. Some of your teachers will show you to use a calculator. I like drawing the table, it's so much easier. Watch here. You put X, you put Y. You put zero in the middle. You put plus minus three factors of this number of A. So what three numbers will go? Positive and negative numbers will go into four. One, two, four. 
Those are your positive numbers. Now put negative. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 4. There we go. Three positive and negative factors of A. Three positive and negative factors of A. Of your A value. That's your A value. Now we sum it into the original. 4 divided by 0 is undefined. U is undefined. 4 over 1 is 4. 4 over 2 is 2. 4 divided by 4, when x is 4, 4 over 4 is 1. 4 over minus 1, minus 4, minus 2, minus 1. These are your coordinates. Let's sketch the graph. It's very easy. Draw the table, put three positive or negative factors of A. Like I said, guys, you can go home and you can replay this on YouTube over and over and over again. So here's your first pair of coordinates. One on four. One in four. One on my X. One, two, three, four on my Y. There's your first point. One in four. Two and two. Two on my X. Two on my Y. Four on my X. One on my Y. Join those. Hey, wait. Join those dots. Making sure that it doesn't touch your axis. Right, quiet. So there's your first point, one and four. Here's your second point, two and two. There's your other point, four and one. Now we do minus one, minus four. Minus one, minus four. Minus two, minus two. Minus four, minus one. Join these dots, making sure that they don't touch your axis. That's your x-axis. That's your y-axis. This is graph. H. So that's minus 1, minus 4. That point there is minus 2, minus 2. And that point there is minus 4, minus 1. And there we go. Your graph is fully sketched. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Pumpkin squeezy. So even if I told you to sketch the graph g of x is equal to minus 6 over x, how would you sketch this one? Come, here's a positive graph. That's when a is positive. What if a is negative? Do the same thing. Draw a table. Let's do it together. Let's do this together. There's x, there's y. There's 0. I said three positive, so let's do one, three, six. One, three, and six. Let's go minus one, minus three, minus six. Now let's substitute for x. Minus six over zero is undefined. Minus six over one is minus six. Minus six over three is minus two. Minus six over six is minus one. Now, obviously, it will be the mirror image on that side. It would be 6, 2, 1. Let's draw the graph. One and minus six. One and negative six. Two, three and minus two. Six and minus one. Join those dots. Minus one and six. Minus 1 and 6. Minus 3 and 2. Minus 6 and 1. And let's join these dots. And there we go. That is graph G. So if it's a negative graph, it's in quadrant 2 and 4. This is quadrant number 2. And that's quadrant number 4. So if this is negative, if A is negative, it's quadrant 2, quadrant 4. If A is positive, it's quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. And there you go, your graph is fully sketched.
Terry, have you guys done this in school? Have you guys done this in school? I'm asking Terry, Terry for truth. <laughs> Terry is online. Terry, have you guys done this in school? I mean, Nabil. Right. What if quiet? Now, if you didn't do this in school, maybe your teachers will do it with you later on in the year, but this is 100% part of your syllabus, which you need to know. Right. What if the graph... Now, I'm going to show you a shortcut. What if the graph is given and you need to find the equation of a hyperbola? Each one you have to do differently. Remember, the straight line, you found it differently. The parabola, you found differently. The hyperbola, you're going to find differently. I'm going to show you a shortcut, another shortcut. Watch here. There we go. There's graph H. Now say this is given in your exam. H of X and they give you a point T and they say that is 3 and 5. Find the equation of H. Find the equation of H. For two marks. I'm going to show you a shortcut to get your answer in two steps. I'm going to show you a shortcut. Pay attention. Pay attention. So in your answer, it's a hyperbola. So H of X is equal to A over X. Yes or no? Isn't that our standard formula? Yes or no? What alphabet am I looking for? A. Now come and show you a trick. H of X. Here's your final answer coming up. Just multiply these two. 3 times 5 is how much? And there's your final answer. There's your final answer. So watch here. See how smart are you, great tens. Great tens. See how smart are you. Watch here. Watch here. So if I gave you, yeah, if you were in the exam and doing function and you saw this graph come up, you saw that graph and they gave you a point here, D, and they told you that's minus 2 and 3, and this is graph G. Give me the equation of G of X. Come on. In, in two seconds, give me the equation of G. G of X is equal to how much? Done, done. Done, done. Finish. Hey, we got six minutes left. That's the hyperbola. Let me show you the exponential and then we are done. Let me show you how to do the exponential. Then we're done with straight line. Para In fact, I'm done teaching you the whole of functions, how to sketch and how to find equations for the whole year. It's done. The topic is done. Now your teachers can show you, give you more examples in class and show you how to analyze it. Okay, but the main thing for you to know is how to sketch and how to find equation. Right. Pay attention. Pay attention. Right. The exponential. Y equals A to the power X. Right. Let's learn how to sketch and how to find the equation. Then we're done. I promise you, then you can go home. And then when you go home, I want you to replay the whole of today and not sleep tonight. Can that be done? Nice. You will never do it. You will never do it. 
I'm living in a dream world. H of X or Y equals 2 to the power X. H of X is equal to a half to the power X. Pay attention. We need to learn how to sketch these graphs. Now listen. Pay attention. All of you, great 10. That's a positive graph. That's a negative graph. So in your answer, watch here. Put down your pens. Let's do it together. We draw a table. Listen and listen carefully. It's different to the hyperbola. Put X, put Y. For X, we're not putting the factors like we did for hyperbola. You just put 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. This one always stays the same. The X values here will always be the same. Shh. 0, 1, 2. Right, now substitute. Let's all do it together. 2 to the power 0. X is in the power. 2 to the power 0 is 1. Any base to the power 0 is 1 from exponents. Shh. Now pay attention. Listen, put your pens down. 2 to the power 1 is 2. 2 to the power 2 is how much? 2 to the minus 1. 2 to the minus 1 is 1 over 2 to the plus 1, which is a half. Yes or no? And 2 to the minus 2. 2 to the minus 2 is 1 over 2 to the plus 2, which is equal to 1 over 4. So that is 1 over 4. Yes or no? Now let's sketch the graph. Finish. It's done. Watch here. Watch, 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 watch. Watch. So we go there. We go there. 0 and 1. 0 on my x, 1 on my y. 0 and 1. 1 and 2. 1 on my x, 1, 2 on my y. 2 and 4. 2 on my x, 1, 2, 3, 4 on my y. That's the point, 2 and 4. Minus 1 and half. Minus 1 on my x, half on my y. Minus 2 on my x, a quarter on my y. We join those dots. We make sure it doesn't touch our x-axis. Because your x-axis is your asymptote. And there we go. There's your graph. Fully sketched. Your x-axis. Your x-axis is what we call our asymptote. Now you know, if, you, if many of you don't know what the word asymptote means, you know the abbreviation is ASS. Now in life, you know you can't go around touching somebody's asymptote. So you know, asymptote is a line which your graph never touches. So whenever you see asymptote, stay away. Don't touch. Don't touch the asymptote. Don't, never. You never touch the asymptote. Mr. Kota is always X-rated. No, you, we, we're talking about maths. I don't know what they understand. Their minds are in the gutters. Hey, 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 hey. Right. Let's do the negative one. Watch here. So we go Y equals 2 to the minus 1 to the power X y equals 2 to the minus x that's why it's a negative graph now we draw our table yeah so boys when you're walking around don't go and tell the girls hey you got a nice asymptote you don't don't do that don't 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 i'm saying don't i'm not saying i'm saying don't yellow card and, and why we are at the end of today 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. We got one minute to go. We got one minute to go. I know the buses are screaming here. They leave you. You know, one minute late, the bus say, Ay, Suga, we are going. 2 to the 0, 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the minus 1 is a half. 2 to the minus 2 is a quarter. 2 to the minus minus 1 is 2 to the plus 1, which is 2. 
2 to the minus minus 2 is 2 to the plus 2, which is 4. Let's draw 0 and 1 there. Minus 1 and 2. Minus 2 and 4. 1 and a half. 2 and a quarter. Join those dots. Making sure it doesn't touch the asymptote. There, oh, it's H also. There we go. That's graph H. That's your positive graph goes in this direction. A negative graph goes in that direction. Boys and girls, we have come to the end of today. Take a bow, Mr. Coach. You never did so much threats in your life, Baba. You never did so much threats in your life. Tomorrow morning, we are starting 9 a.m. sharp. Go home safely. Thank you very much. We shall see you tomorrow morning. Goodbye. Onlineers, thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed today's session. Hope you guys learned a lot. And okay. I shall see you thank you so much, Mr. Thank Coach. Thank you so much. You've been an awesome co pilot from space calling to Earth. Uh, we know we know we're near the end of our maths program. Tomorrow they'll know how we dial our maths. For sure. Thank you so much. That's I'll just so put much. so I'll just put you on mute for a moment so we can mute out some of that excitement. So that was Mr. Kota, and he went through Maths Paper One for Grade Ten uh, Mathematics. He went through Algebra. This uh, workshop is hosted on OCAF SA's YouTube uh, platform uh, as well as Facebook, so you can refer back to the video um, if you have missed out on anything. If you went through load shedding, if you had any data connection uh, issues. Log on to OCAV's website, okavsa.org.za. So tomorrow, Sunday, the 28th of May, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., we will, uh, Mr. Kota will be taking us through Matt's uh, paper two, that will be geometry. So log on early, subscribe to our YouTube uh, platform. I just want to make mention about a competition that we are hosting. Um, we will be hosting a competition and the competition uh, is aimed at uh, awarding um, those learners that have taken part in our workshop who have performed well um, in their final examination. Um, so we are awarding uh, cash prizes for uh, prize uh, winners one, uh, two, three, and the most improved learner. So if you come first, uh, first position, there will be a cash prize as well as second position and third position and the most improved this competition will open in january 2024 so this is why it is essential for you to register online um, if you have registered for this workshop online if you have not log on to okaf's website okafsa.org.za with all of the information about this competition and we will be opening this competition in january 2024 and all all um, workshop participants, you will receive an email uh, when the competition does open. What we will require of you is that we will require for you to upload your June um, examination results for mathematics, as well as your result that you get at the end of the year, whether you're writing your November or October uh, exam for grade 12 and your November or December uh, final examination for uh, mathematics. We had Rory Sang, uh, uh, he entered in the grade 12 competition last year. He scored 100% uh, in mathematics. Safia Wadi scored 99%. She's studying uh, medicine at WITS. And Matemba scored 99% as well. He's studying astrophysics um, at WITS. So that was for the grade 12 um, workshop. We will be having competitions for you for the grade 10 workshop. So in conclusion, we're just gonna get some concluding remarks from Mr. Kota uh, and what he will be um, covering tomorrow in uh, Matt's paper two. 
that workshop starting from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mr. Kota, any concluding remarks? Uh, uh, just before want to say Jazakallah level? to everybody, Jazakallah to Okaf, Al Falah College, and all the students who have been uh, active in this program. Guys, it was an amazing, amazing session. Thanks, Lasedi, Beverly, Ongezwi, uh, Onge, Ziwe, Safia, and everybody has been. Uh, Tiona, Reddy, Grassi, Gracias to everybody in Tabi saying, See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Uh, we're covering. Tomorrow, I'm finishing up paper one in the morning. We'll do some exponents, exponential equations and equations. And then we fire off with paper two, analytics, trigonometry, and geometry. Muhammad Yasin, Jazakallah so much. Uh, Nabil Yusuf and everybody else who's been, I mean, um, to everybody who's been communicating with us and making this thing such an electric atmosphere. And obviously, Jazakallah to al -Fala. The Department of Education who put this thing together. Jazakala to our IT team and our back end, Mr. Faisal Kathri and team from uh, uh, EBK Sound or is it K Sound? BK That's Sound. Kathri's. Kathri Sound. Kathri, he's a boss. He's a boss, making sure everything is just moving at super high speed. So, yeah, guys, please understand that this has been. Um, a massive coordination of IT, uh, the amount of uh, intellectual property and the um, amount of uh, academic capacity required to put a program like this together is absolutely no joke. If you see the studio that's put up here, there's hundreds of thousands of rands worth of equipment that is put up here. The time, the energy, and uh, obviously beaming. As the name being in Cape Town, we being in uh, in KZN, this is a national uh, effort, and I think this is history in the making. But yeah, uh, thanks to everybody. Raisa Asam Khan, Smelu Kule Mbule, Abdul Malik Gur Music, thanks, sir. Uh, always. So, Mr. Kota, the, the question <laughs> is Are you going to match the energy or improve on the oh, energy? They don't know match paper yet. Too? They haven't seen nothing yet, Baba. They haven't seen. Tomorrow is fire. Fire. Are we going to be matching? Are we going to be matching? Tomorrow they are matching, Baba. Today, Mets is matching tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow so there we go. Double the energy of today, Baba. Double the energy. Here we go. So that's it from me, Hassan and Abdullah Thanks, from Aisha, uh, yes. the OCAP SA studio here in Cape Town. And Mr. Kote was at the Alphala College in KwaZulu Natal, Durban. So we'll see you bright and early uh, tomorrow. Uh, for Matt's paper too. That's it from me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and have a good evening. Mr. Kota, over and out. Uh, salute. Salute. Dead luck. See you tomorrow, my bro. When we take care of each other, wonderful things happen. Children thrive, the elderly rejoice, and communities celebrate. Ocom South Africa. A charitable walk-up organization makes it easy to share the care. All donations are ploughed into Sharia-compliant investments, while the fruits support a wide variety of charitable causes. Visit okafsa.org.za to discover how your walk-up can bless our community with a legacy.